to get back up here. This is a song about a guy you might remember from high school. Or you might be this guy from high school. I don't know. My little uh, harmonica. I got my 12-sided die, and I'm ready to roll with a wizard and my goblin crew. My friends are coming over to my mom's basement, bringing Funyuns and the Mountain Dew. I got a big broadsword made out of cardboard, and that stereo's a pumping Zeppelin. It's that time of the night, we turn on the black light. Let the dungeons and the dragons begin. It's D. With the legends of yore, it's D and D. Never kissed a lady before. No. Woo! <laughs> now the Lord of the Rings, the dark crystal and things, we use these as a reference tool. And when we put on our cloaks and tell warlock jokes, we're the coolest kids at the school. No, we're not. I know. <laughs> now, Tack's a real bastard, but a fair dungeon master. He's got hit points and charisma to lend. And I rehearse in my room, or what I call the dragon's tomb. When I'm out I'm with my girlfriend, it's d, &D. Wait, wait. Sorry. <laughs> you got a girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. I gotta, no. <laughs> it's D and D. Warriors that terrify. It's D and D. Virgins till the day we DMDs.
Aristobot, me and you are having words after this stream. Let's hear everyone singing now. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. How are we all doing? I hope you're doing amazing. Um, before anybody starts atting me, I can see that this text over here isn't the easiest to read with the white. I will address that. I will fix that. How is everybody? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our first D&D &D stream. I hope you guys are excited as I am. And I know that there's four specific ones of you in here that are even more excited because today we will be playing with Big Nelly, Pon Kapow, Pingu and Rebel Storm. Ooh. Um, oh yeah. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I know, I know. Look, I've done so. Do you know how... how Thank you, Tato Tatics, for following. Welcome in, welcome in. Um... Guys, before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to Kathy Clism, who has been working so hard on all of the assets you see here in OBS. The starting screen, this screen, some of the other screens that you see. Um, Kathy, yeah, Kathy's been an absolute gem setting this all up. Um, so before we go anywhere, I want to say a, a big thank you to her because, yeah, she's, she's just done amazing. Um, <laughs> Oh, 100%. 100%. So, this stream is going to be a little bit different, as you can imagine, because we're going to be focusing... <laughs> no, no. We're going to be focusing a lot on the, the actual D&D game, and that's going to be taking a lot of my attention away. Whereas normally, I like to give chat all of my attention. Today won't be the same. So, the mods are going to be working extra hard. I say that. One of them's playing the game. One of them's currently asleep. So two out of the four mods are going to be uh, in chat, uh, hopefully, you know, fielding any questions we've got or just, you know, doing the welcomes in and thank yous and stuff that I'd normally try and do. Um, so again, I want to say a big thank you to, to any of the mods that are helping out today. Um, normally where you guys just sit there and get to bully me, there is a little bit of work today, unfortunately, but it does mean that we get to have fun with our D&D. &D. It also means, unfortunately, I've had to turn off some of the channel point redemptions and stop some of the commands. Um, so you'll notice a lot of them have disappeared. Uh, that will be only for D&D &D streams, and that's just so that we can focus on the D&D. &D. Uh, Twitch and D&D &D aren't something that go hand in hand altogether too well. Because as the DM, I need to focus on what the guys are doing, what, you know, setting up everything for them. So I can't really focus too much on chat. Um, so there is going to be things that either I'm just sort of letting go, ignoring, or that the mods will be picking up. Um, so it is a test run. You know, this is our first D&D. &D. This is, we're testing out a lot of new things. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping things will go well. Um, but any feedback you guys have got as well um, would be brilliant as well. Uh, I'm just restarting streamer.bot because it looks like that crashed. So Skode, um, if you if we give that DND command another go now. There we go. Uh, so that's now working. Um, so cool. Well, I think without any further, we should 
hop in. We oh, thank you, Kathy. Yes, we have a backstory as well. So how these four guys end up coming together. Um, I wrote a little story, uh, very very brief. Um, that I've put up that you can read there. And it's just the story of how the guys came together. You don't have to read it for the story to make sense. But if you if you like having the backstory and things like that, it's there. Uh, don't judge me on it. I'm not a writer. <laughs> I'm just a nerd. Um, <laughs> Mads, Barista Boy, is he hiring at you? What's reading? Uh, Peaches, that's when... I don't know. Ask, ask Kathy and Rebel. They do a lot of it, apparently. Um, cool. I think that's everything. Um, so let's pop over. Let's see who we've got. And let's say hello to our players. Oh, it helps if I undefin it in Discord as well. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to our first D&D session. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's good to be here. I'm very nervous. I think everyone else in the group is very nervous too. Yep. yep. Don't worry, because nah, it's only guys run about. How it's... cute are those pictures as well? I know the pictures are awesome. <laughs> it's only me that can mess up, so you're fine. Yeah. Challenge is it accepted. Is Challenge it? accepted. <laughs> so, um, cool. Let's start at the top of all the all the characters that we've got uh and I'll, I'll let each person um introduce introduce themselves introduce their character and if you're a twitch streamer you can give it give your channel a little little shout out so let's start off with namrock at the top thank you hello so it's big nelly here you may know me you may not um I will be playing Namrock Ironhide today, who is a Dwarven Rogue, uh, born into the ancient underground city of Durin's Hold. Uh, Namrock was exposed to riches, traditions, you know, all of the, the Dwarven lifestyle and heritage, um, but really didn't have a fascination for that, had a fascination to go beyond that and um, was kind of into the, the, the world of, of thievery and uh, roguish charms. So um, due to a grave mis misunderstanding within the clan, uh, Namrock was um, exiled from Durin's hold and now is finding his work, trying to find his way back into the clan. Uh, so that's what I'll be doing during this uh, campaign, hopefully. Fantastic. Thank you, Namrock. Uh, next, we have Renestra. Hi, I'm Rebel. Uh, most of you probably know me uh, <laughs> already, uh, but I am playing as Renestra. I'm a wood elf uh, ranger and... Um, yeah, I don't play good with other people. I don't know why these people have me around. I just stumbled upon them one day and, you know, uh, they need food. I'm a hunter. I can uh, I can hunt some beasts pretty well. So I guess they that's why they keep me around because, you know, I'm not that fun to be around. <laughs> I was talking about your character, Renestra, not yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Ash, wait Bruh. till the, this is left, this is right, this is back off. <laughs> <laughs> and Rebel, you're a Twitch streamer as well. Would you like to shout out your channel? Yeah, I uh, I haven't streamed a lot lately, but uh, whenever I do, I mostly play puzzle games or Lego games. Um, so if you like that, you can follow me, but that's not like, you don't have to, but if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest people would. Um, next, we have somebody who, by the look at chat, is uh, is already to be seeing to be quite popular. Uh, Bonk, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, I will be playing Bonk, the half orc. He was originally brought up in the orc tribes, uh, but he never quite fit in because of his half human heritage. Uh, he went to the mainland in hoping to find a tribe or a group that he could actually fit in with and learn more about his human side and he is very simple and enjoys bonking things brilliant thank you very much uh and last not least our group's uh very own cleric dahlia dalila sorry <laughs> i am 
Kim, one of the mods for Ash, and I am playing Dalila, the wood elf cleric, uh, younger sibling to La Syndra, the hair of silver leaf dynasty. Dalila's path was preordained while her sister was groomed for the throne. This annoyed me. I was very much the spare, not the hair, but even still pushed into the way of the cleric, the god, getting to know the gods and my worshipping my powers and such. Um, very much rebelling against all of this, trying to find my own path and my own way. Fantastic. Um, excuse me while I'm just setting things up. So welcome in, welcome in, guys. Uh, and thank you, uh, Scode, for the follow. Right, let me put some better music on. Because as much as we do like John Cena, um, that's not what we're wanting for this. So where are we and what are we doing? Questions I quite often ask myself. Um, brilliant. So obviously you four are out, you're travelers, adventurers, and you're out and about. As you're traveling along, is this music actually playing? It is. Yes, it's just a little quiet. Uh, by the way, chat, if there are any issues with volume, people's volumes are too loud, too quiet, or anything like that, please just let me know. So, as you guys are out traveling, it's about midday when you finally arrive at the hamlet that you saw from a distance. You see halflings walking around calmly, tending to their crops. All is peaceful. Unlike anything you've ever seen before, the low hums of the workers bring forth sweet melodies and the sun shines in the distance. Um, it's, it's everything seems, everything just seems serene, calm. As you take in the scene, you begin to hear a roaring sound through the wind. You look up only to notice a gigantic rock flying towards you with immense speed. And you hear a halfling shout, look out, and people scatter. In an instant, the stone crashes into the village. Debris flies everywhere. And to your horror, a large chunk of it smashes into the bridge ahead of you that connects you to the hamlet, leaving a gaping hole in its center. The bridge, once a sturdy passage, now poses a challenge. Uh, I don't know why. I'll sort out the screen in just a second. Uh, the serenity gone. All that's left is general confusion. A few halflings eye the rock motionlessly. You then hear the same voice that shouted before from a female halfling figure who's dusting herself off. I've had it with that bastard. It's the fifth time he's done it this year. How many times do we have to tell him he can't give him food right this second he wishes for it? The female figure then approaches the rock and begins to kick it angrily. With the bridge damage, you'll need to muster your skills to leap over the broken bridge section. Uh, so, guys, as you approach this bridge, I'm just going to uh, fix the map second for people. Here we go. This is more of what we're seeing. Um, what I will need you to do before we even start anything, you guys need to cross this bridge. Um, so can I please get an acrobatics check from each one of you to see if you can actually jump over the bridge or at least navigate the broken sections to get over without falling into the river? <laughs> yes. Okay. So Namrock <laughs> Namrock gets to skillfully nimble his way across the bridge. Dahlia just gets over and just manages it. Renestra unfortunately misjudges the distance uh, and she finds herself teetering on the Bonk, I'll get to you in a second. Um, teetering on the edge, scrambling to, to hold on. Um, can I just get a quick athletics check from you, please, Renestra? 
That's see if you can example. see if you can handle this and hold on. Frick me! <laughs> you thought. Unfortunately, you're not able to hold on. <laughs> You lose your grip and you plunge into the waters below despite your best efforts. Luckily it's not deep, you're not hurt, but you're now wet, you're embarrassed, uh, and a few of the others might look at you with a bit of a laugh at your expense, but you manage to, to climb out um, and join them, albeit a bit soggy. Someone needed a bath. Um, bonk. Can I get a athletics check from you as well, please? Uh, you do manage to hold on and pull yourself over. Um, so the four of you are now on the other side. Um, Let's actually pull you over to the other side. Apparently I can't select you all, so I'm just going to... Oh, no, there we go. So you can start having a look at this giant rock that landed. And taking the steps needed to sort of go. Is there anyone you'd like to go talk to initially or anything you'd like to do? I'm just looking around at the damage... Not really saying much. Bonk immediately goes to the massive boulder and tries to push it to see how heavy it is. <laughs> I am definitely rolling my eyes at Bonk. Can I get a strength roll from you, please, Bonk? Uh, you give it a push with all your might. It doesn't budge. Bearing in mind, this rock is probably twice as big as you, twice as tall as you are. I want to find who threw this immediately. <laughs> As you're standing by the rock, uh, you see, Bonk, not far from you, a female. Uh, at first glance, it just looks like a simple villager. She seems to be in her early 40s with a little bit of crow's feet around her eyes, her hair red and tied in a tight bun. Freckled, pale skin, almost covered by minimalistic villager clothing. Uh, she approaches you. Um, and she says, uh, Travellers, by the look of you, you're not just simple wanderers. I've seen that look before. The look who have faced danger and come out the other side. My name's Martha. Martha High Clover. And I, th I think, I think fate has brought you here in our time of need. She gestures over to the massive boulder. That inconvenience was courtesy of a rather temperamental giant living nearby. He's taken to hurling these at us whenever his stomach rumbles. We've tried to appease him with food, but it's never enough. And today, well, it seems he's even more impatient. Look, we're simple folk. We're not warriors, but you, you have the look of those who can stand up to such a menace. I... I would hate to impose, but would you consider helping us? We, we can't keep living under the threat of his tantrums. And maybe if you could deal with him or at least find a way to make him stop. Yeah, we'll try and we'll try and make it worth your while. As she then looks I, around at the group, you know, will you help us? I want free booze for a month. No, two weeks. I'm, I, I mean, we, we have an inn here and I, I'm happy to, you know, to, to give all, all of the, the ale and mead that, that we can spare if you're able to help us. Okay, okay. One week is my final offer and we will do it. He doesn't speak on behalf of all of us. Uh, uh, okay, as she looks around <laughs> at the rest of you, you know, uh, are the rest of you able able to help us? How much you got? I mean, we don't have much in the way of gold, but we can offer you food and resources for you to take on your the rest of your adventures with you. What resources are we talking about? Anything that might help in your adventures. As you, you look into your packs and you realise that actually, do you know what? You might not have packed correctly for, you for long distance travels and 
food is a bit slim in your in your packs. I mean, do we have anything better to do? And I would like maybe I don't know, dry set of clothes. I mean, I, I I'd do it for free, but I want booze. I mean, you always want for booze. <laughs> What was, what was the reason for the rock being thrown? Can we can we look into that a bit deeper? He's hungry. He throw tantrum. I throw tantrum when I'm hungry. P pretty much, adventurers. Yes, it's it's his way of ringing his dinner bell. I mean, we're only a small hamlet. There's only a small amount of food that we can gather, and we normally like to obviously feed ourselves with that. But with him around and the amount that he eats. I mean, your your big burly friend here is is a large man. In fact, you are too, sir, with with the beard and and braids. But you pale in consideration to the size of this giant. Challenge, challenge. I'm I'm all for it. Let's do it. Onk turns around and like kind of lightly knocks on the boulder. He hears that it's not hollow, and he's like, "Hmm, that, that's a weird dinner bell." <laughs> So, I have a plan if you guys if you guys are up for it. If you guys are if you guys are able to and, and skilled enough, what we need to do is go around, gather the food that he requires, take it to him, and then when he's when he's stuffing his face with the food, you guys can attack him when he's not looking and and do, do you think you could ki kill him? I like that idea. But that's a waste of food if he's going to die. I think we should just get the food anyway. I mean, any food you're able to 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 gather that he doesn't eat, you're more than welcome to have and take with you. Guys, this is a great deal. I am <laughs> inhaling massively right now. What's what? What food is here? How how what, how are you expecting us to get the food to the giant? Uh, well, I've got I've got a big cart here. Um, if you're able to to go around to the different houses and convince the people to to spare with some food, we can we can load it up. Uh, there, there's a there's a field that you can go grab some food from there as well, and we can gather this up with, with all of us doing it. We'll have it done in no time. Then we can use it to trick him. And, and attack him and you guys can then kill him you, you can have anything he has on him if anything he has you guys are more than happy to to to, to keep it uh, as as a reward I'm, I'm looking at this little cart is is this the cart that you want us to fill it's not very big for a giant uh, the cart isn't on the map, but there is a suitable cart there that will hold a, a fair amount of food. Okay. Did I am guys... not good at talking to people. I don't, I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's let's make something clear then. You do not want any payment from us. Why? Why we pay them? They pay us. We kill giant. I just, I just want to make sure that we're not going to get double crossed when we come back down with a dead giant. I mean, look, look, look around. We're, we're simple people. We have no weapons. I Bonk mean, looks at Namrock, <laughs> then looks down at the halfling and just kind of chuckles to himself. <laughs> they won't. All right, let's do it. So, which house are you guys going to go to first to try and get some offerings? This one. I have a good feeling about it. Awesome. So you approach Do the you? door and Do you really? you, from inside you hear a lot of kids shouting and screaming and, and the voice of what you can only imagine to be a very tired and irate mother unable to effectively control them and screaming and shouting at them as you approach the door. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. This is why I don't hang out with people. Hold on. Guys, quickly, it sounds like there's a fight in there. We need to get in. Yeah, let's send Bonk in. He, he can Bonk starts him. hammering on the door frantically. He can handle the young kids with his young mind. Bonk is at that bloody door! Do you and need the door, help? There's the door. 
as the door flies open, you see another halfling there um, and surrounded by seven children screaming around her like little maniacs. Um, where's the right button? There we go. Um, yes. So she says, right, who are you? What do you want? Uh, food. Wait, are we here for food? Yeah, food. What do you, what do you mean you want food? Do you not for see giant. that I have seven children to feed? And you think I've got food to spare for you? Who even are you? Banging uh, at my yeah, door yeah. at this time in the morning. Who do you think you are? As this, little, even... as this little halfling is looking up at this giant half-orc, half-man, just hugeness before her, not even phased. Bonk kind of like crosses his hands in between his like in front of his stomach and kind of lowers his posture almost like he's being spoke uh told off by a mother. I I we uh, we're trying well, to get rid well, of the did giant. You, did you get the words out. Can we're I try, push... we're trying to kill the giant? I wanna push past him and speak to this parent. Go for and it. And Estra just whispers yeah. to herself, like, for fuck's sakes, you can just donate one of your kids <laughs> or three of them. So I'm 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 gonna push past Bonk and I'm stood at the door now just to move out the way, idiot. I'm sure there's something I can do to persuade you. I'm sure that you do not want this giant throwing these massive large boulders at your beloved children. Okay, give me a roll for persuasion, please. She doesn't look very persuaded. Uh, in fact, she's had enough with you. And what she does is, because she's a, she's a great mother, is she turns around to the kids, eyes them up, and goes, Kids, go play, as she points at you. And the children all run at you. And can I get you guys to please roll initiative? <laughs> oh fuck! <gasps> oh yes. I can't even find that. Where? Sorry, I should have rolled them oh. privately. Never mind. I can't. Even, I where's the initiative? Of course, of course, I get my nat twenty on a fucking initiative <laughs> roll. Really? <laughs> on your D and D Beyond under proficiency, uh, there should be initiative next to armor. If not, I can just roll it for you. Oh, there. I see it now. Oh, God. You got it? Um, so oh, these kids just charge at you. Um, so the first, ch the first child obviously has her eyes on this giant piece of man meat that was, was in the doorway. Runs past. Um, you're there because you went to there. Uh, runs up to... I should actually probably find the child whose turn it is. Uh, it's this one. It is this one. Cool. Runs up to Bonk. And attempts to, attempts to actually bite him in his leg. Um, and Are we rolls, really going to bite kids? <laughs> and rolls a 21 to bite. Bonk, does she um, bite? She most certainly does bite. Okay. Can you, uh... Can you take three piercing damage, please? I am insulted. <laughs> and it is now your turn, Bonk. Hmm... Now, the question is, how angry did that make him? Oh, but he's <laughs> not a douche. Right. This is um... not going to end well. Bon, these, <laughs> these may be feral kids, but they're still kids. Bear that in mind. Right. Bonk is going to try and grab the head of the child that's, in, that's latched onto my leg. Yep. And just send her towards all the other children like a bowling ball. Okay. Can I get a strength roll, please? Yeah. 
by the way you do tell these kids are laughing and playing as they go so you know you can tell they okay. they feel like this is a game okay lightly slide them across the floor then don't just <laughs> help them <laughs> that's fine that's fine so this child goes rolling like a bowling ball into all the other kids uh as as they all still are looking at you um like they want to come and play on the new toys that have arrived um uh, i don't know which child this is it's this child as this child <laughs> pushes past now to to dahlia uh as she she also tries to come in for a bite because that's all these kids apparently know uh and it's an and that one so as she does it she goes running past runs straight past you out into the garden and falls over so she's now prone um i'm just gonna put on shake my head <laughs> um i'm just gonna put on some combat music because because that's what we need we need combat music uh the next child is gonna come again sees how much fun the first kid had with bonk uh and is gonna come running in for for a bite oh yeah don't forget these are halfling children as well so they are absolutely tiny uh that's a nat 20 <laughs> so they're going to be coming in for crit damage oh yeah that hits uh so that'll be four piercing damage from this bite <laughs> as we get why do you guys roll so low on your initiative man uh as this I child didn't... comes oh, running up uh and goes to take a bite out of dahlia as well there's only one l in that name <laughs> <laughs> uh nothing but she's gonna try and bite you with an 11 so what is your ac your armor, armor class, class yes. yep yeah, sorry how much 14 14 so no she comes to bite you and you're able to just you know hold your hand out and push her head away she doesn't get anywhere near you um is this other child just <laughs> As this other child comes running up, but she's not able to get to you, it's then Renestra's turn. As the mum sort of stood back, sort of giggling away to herself as her kids are just causing havoc with you. Oh, boy. No, this is not, not good. What would you like to do? This, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Can you, can you persuade the mum? Can you talk to the mum, please? No! Uh, can we, can you, can't, you, can't, you can't converse with each other during combat. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, Renestra, it is your turn. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to have to push you for a thought. I, I wish I could do animal handling on the... <laughs> can't there's nothing i can do because i'm not gonna shoot them um and you're not in threat of them as well i'm yeah the only thing okay i will uh i will um i will touch bonk and do cure wounds level one go for it because why the fuck not yep that's what you want to do bonk you may heal five hit points Ooh, that feels funny. <laughs> You're welcome. As Renestra uh, sort of lightly taps you on the, on the back of your shoulder, you feel this warmth inside you. And no, you haven't pissed yourself. Oh, that's a change. Uh, Renestra, anything else you'd like to do? Oh, God damn it. Nope. My, I think my um, foundry just lagged out because I lost every single button on here. Okay, you might need um, to refresh. Can I do that without losing? My yeah, spot? yeah, you can. You can, you can refresh. Okay. It's not a problem. Is there anything else okay. you want to do with your turn, or? No, I'm done. Okay, Namrock. Hello. You're off to the side here, seeing all this going on. What are you, What are you thinking? What are you doing, sir? 
Can is there any way that I can persuade any of these children to to f off? Uh, it depends. I mean, they're children. What what would you like to do with to them? I mean, no, wait. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let me rephrase. So, <laughs> if if I can persuade them to stop attacking, uh, I don't. Know I mean, if like you're a, in the doorway. Really, you can't really see them at the minute, apart from that one that ran out and fell over. either beat the crap out of the kid or tell it to stop i mean they're kids I, I at like, the end of the day so yeah I'm, i want to try and persuade that kid to stop fighting because i don't the want one that's fallen attacks. over yeah the one that's prone okay what well, how and how would you like to do that just with a persuasion role yeah but how are you going have, to persuade them gotta have some words to go along with it all right okay i can with you with you with you so uh, Namrock approaches the, uh, the the prone child that's fallen over. Okay. Um, how how big right, is uh, Namrock, by the way? Um, uh, I think it's about four feet, four foot. Okay, so he's so he's probably about the normal sort of height of an adult that this child is used to seeing. Yes. Okay. Fine. Yeah, yes. Feel free to approach the child. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the child to just you don't need to fight us. We're not we're not here to hurt. We're not here to you know to to, to bring any harm to your family. We're just we're just gonna help the village. Um, I'm gonna ask you politely to to stop, and that's your first warning. <laughs> I was gonna say up until that last bit, I was gonna say, <laughs> knowing you're a father, have you ever had to um, <laughs> punish a child I before? Used to two I use the two option rule. First option is you, you stop this now. Second option is I pull a dagger. It's up to you. I was going to say, because that was very like a student. I'm going to ask you nicely. Please stop. We're here to help. Uh, the child looks up at you sort of almost like a bit dazed and a bit confused. But then when you say or else at the end there, they then looked a bit worried as if to say, oh, maybe, maybe this big scary guy's not playing around. Um, cool. We then move on to the next child who's just going to move forward as ready to go for bonk. Uh, as we move forward to the to the next child, <laughs> who's this one who also is going to move up. Uh, and the mum is kind of in, in the back there. You can't really see her, but she's still giggling away to herself that finally she's not having to deal with these kids. They're, they're pestering someone else. Dalia. My turn. Yeah. So, um, I am going to call. Look, maybe there's something we can do to help you here. Would I can? I have powers. You I have can, a, You have six seconds in your turn, by the way. I, I can fix your garden if you call your kids off. Roll a persuasion check for me. I assume you're going for a persuasion. She suddenly looks up and she's like, she's intrigued. Get, and she says to you, no, oh, yeah, what else can you do? Um, I can, I can fix your front garden with my magic mending spell. You can have space for your children and pens for animals and livestock. As she looks out in her front garden, seeing the giant boulder laying there, she thinks to herself, oh, well, if they've got magic to fix that, then, uh, yeah, all right then. As she sort of yells at the kids uh, to come back inside and to stop messing around. Um, the kids all sort of stop playing and they come back inside uh, and leave you and leave you alone. Bonk slowly releases the handle of his axe that he was reaching for. <laughs> As she looks out at you and she goes, so... You can help out. You can get rid of this giant rock, can you? I mean, I didn't say the rock, but I can definitely fix the fencing. I mean, it's in my front garden. We can try and get rid of the rock, but we can definitely stop more from coming if you have a spare loaf of bread. Mm. I don't know. We do need to use this food. 
Give me another persuasion check for, for her donating food. All right. As she sort of goes out back, comes back with, with some food and is like, this, this is all I can spare. She hands over some food for which you feel, you know, is, is probably adequate. I wonder if every house is going to be this fun. <laughs> but I want that boulder removed before the night's out. Otherwise, I'll be I'll be setting the kids back on ya. You see this this gentleman next to me? If you want to call. Oh, she shut the door now. He, he, she shut oh, the door. Right. She's gone. <laughs> well, Rude, fine. better get me some rope. <laughs> As you start hearing her screaming at the kids again. At least that's over with. Well, Open hell, those kids are feral. Feral oh. kids. That was not fun. After Remind a couple me, of minutes, there were kids. A couple of minutes after saying I need to get some rope, Bonk then remembers that he has some rope in his backpack. Yeah. He's gonna go around to the boulder and use all three brain cells that he has to wrap the fifty feet rope around the boulder. Who say is that even enough? I mean fifty feet's quite big, right? <laughs> can wrap around it at least once. Hey, okay. He's got some chickens over here in corner. Bonk has one end of the rope in each hand. And he's just going to try and pull. All right, give me a strength check. Oh my god. Come on, baby. Nat 20. Oh, close. Do you remember in... Avengers, when Captain America first initially tries to lift Mjolnir, Thor's hammer, yeah. and it just <laughs> wobbles ever so slightly. I've nearly got it, guys! Someone <laughs> give it a push from behind! We can do this! Someone give me a hand! It's gonna keep trying. No one else saw the boulder actually move, and they just think you're at a fruitless attempt. <laughs> can you please save your energy for something better? Big rock. Yeah, it's a big rock. You're really good at, you know, oh, okay. <laughs> seeing size. So Namrock, you are at a a locked chicken farm. Uh, as you approach it, Martha comes up um, and sort of lets you know that this is her house and that's her little chicken farm with the shed out back. Martha, how many chickens can we take? I mean, I use them to, to get the eggs. I can give you some eggs. Oh, all right. So we'll take eggs, but I think we're going to need chickens too to uh, to get this giant off your backs. Otherwise, you know, what what else have we got? I mean, you can talk to you can talk to um, my my partner Soren in inside the house and see what he's got in there. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to say Namrock approaches the house. Yep. Where is the, where is the entrance for? <laughs> is it uh, just nearby Martha? Let, let's let's say it's there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so this house is slightly stampier and smaller, but has an ornate wooden sign that reads "The Home of Sorin Shorthalt and Martha High Clover." Uh, the smell coming from the inside is of tasty soup. Uh, once the players knock. You hear a low voice asking, did it leave? Um, as, a, as a sort of a player's quite, as, as the voice of somebody who's quite scared. Are you referring to us or the giant? The giant. You're going to open this door. Come on, let's have a chat. I need to know the giant's gone. There's no giant out here. The only giant uh, is me right now. Come on, I'm losing uh, patience. I don't believe you. Bloody heck. What is with these people? I kind of step forward and uh, using my, my gentle voice. The giant's gone. There's just a giant rock here. It's not moving. We've tried to move it. It's safe. We're here. Can you give me a persuasion check, please? Uh, 
Yeah. He opens the door slightly, pops his head out. You see a short and stumpy man with a messy chef's apron. Hair slicked back to cover a progressing bald spot. Uh, he looks extremely scared. Um, behind him, you see their house is full of all types of spices and vegetables hanging out to dry from the ceiling. Um, when he realizes that the giant's not there, he sort of invites you in. And as you walk in, you see he's cooking a large um, sort of in a large big pot, almost about sort of twice his size. Uh, it is currently co cooking like a like a soup and it's got an incredible smell. So he invites you in. Thank you. Did you say it was Sorin? Sorin, yes. Come in, come Hi, in. Sorin. Thank you. Can't get in. Uh, I'll, 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 for you guys that are going in, Martha's coming as well. Uh, what, what are the rest of you going to do? Renestra's coming in. Cool. Uh, Bonk is still trying to figure out if he can get this rock to move. Completely fine, <laughs> Bonk. You, you keep going with that. You got this, Cocker. I believe in you. <laughs> uh, who's, who's that soup for? We need to discover who's going to be eating that right now. Uh, for the for the village, I'm I, I'm I'm the cook. As he looks quite proud of himself, I I cook and I make sure all 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 all, all the villagers here are, are are well fed. Right, right, okay. So, I mean, we're passing through. We we just want to be on the way, but we've been asked to to help with giant. And right now, that big pot of soup is the only thing that's basically going to help us. So. We, as he's now ladling it out into a small bowl and handing one to Renestra. As you're talking, he's handling out another one to, to Dahlia and then another one to yourself, Namrock. Oh, bloody heck, he's feeding us now. He's going to think we're here to stay. I have a bad feeling about our soup. Uh, give me an insight check then, Renestra, if you want. Uh oh. Seven. There's there's nothing you see wrong. There's nothing you see in him that you you would doubt. You just see him as a nice little man who wants to be friendly and handing you some nice vegetable soup. It's missing some meat. Oh, meat's, meat's, meat's limited around here. We either use it for livestock or we cook it. And once you cook it, you can't use it for livestock. So, vegetables it is, unfortunately. As you look around and you do see there's like one or two like rabbits hanging up and drying on, on the wall. But it's mostly just sort of vegetables. Okay. Sorin, I'm going to need all your food on this cart outside. Every every last bit of food in this house, I'm going to need to take from you. As you see his sort of face drop, and he was like, "Not, not all of it. Some surely, but not all of it." Well, I think you need to come together as a village and start sharing. But we need to take as much food, and right now, you've got all the food that we can see, and we need to give it to the giant up road. I'll I'll spare with some of it as he sort of. Wanders off, grabs grabs some bits and bobs together into into a bit of a sack. He was like, "Some of these are a little bit off. Is that okay?" As you're looking at like Sorry. a carrot that's gone a bit floppy, he was like, "It's either that or it goes in the compost." I don't think you understood me. I think we said we need to take this food, not your rubbish that you're throwing out. But, but what as a village will we eat? Well, that's not my problem. You want the giant gone. <laughs> yep, you've got chickens. That's not my problem. We're trying to get rid of giant here. We need that food. Uh, can you give me a persuasion check, please, Namrock? Oh, bollocks. Again, he looks at you sort of... Surely not all of it. Some of it. Not all of it. He's just going around still like looking at different bits, put them into the bag. He's filling up a fair, fair sort of size sack. Um, but if you're not happy with the size of his sack, you can keep going. <laughs> Look, mate, you want this this giant to keep throwing 
boulders at your village? Or I also need to make sure my villagers are fed and that nobody dies of starvation. All right, sorry. Calm down, calm down. Mint no offense, right? We'll take what you've got then, and we'll we'll potentially be back later. As he's sort of walking around, sort of tut tutting to himself, village to look after, and they want to come and steal all my food. As he pops, you know, a few bits into some bag. It's like I say, it's a fair size, and then he and then he sort of reaches out over to Namrock. He goes, "There, are you happy with my sack?" Phrasing, dude. Namrock, he's asking you a question. I'd like to give give Namrock a little uh, a little glaze and I raise an eyebrow. You know, size does matter. Um, I'm so I'm so sorry. There, can you can you just repeat that? Sorry, and I I got distracted by something out the window. <laughs> I'm I'm giving you my sack. Is my sack not good enough for you? Ah, uh, your sack's great. <laughs> it's great, but um, I mean, I mean, the last time a man gave me a sack, I I didn't really appreciate it too much because it wasn't very big and this seems like it's not a very big sack and i like big sacks i'm not so, a very big man neither uh, are you got, you've got a lot of food here for filling sacks and I'd, I'd like it if you could give me a big sack i'd be very happy i'd be walking out of here with it, your big sack on my back well give me some time i'll see if i can scrounge anything else together to make my sack bigger for you Ah, that's a good lad. That's a good lad. Okay, Torin, we'll we'll come back in a bit and we'll come and collect that sack. Oh, okay, I'll see what I can do. As the the three of you then sort of leave with with Sorin's sack in hand. Right, we have we have another house, right? You do have another house. You've got a house off to the right. Bonk and Martha are just. <laughs> Bonk's still like lightly tapping the boulder and trying to look at it from different angles, see if there's a better way to push. <laughs> or pull. As, as Martha's sort of wandering around with you, just sort of amazed that you're still trying this. I will not be bitten by a <laughs> rock. Is any who's who's going to be approaching this third house? Uh, I'll approach it. Is it okay? Can this be the yeah, that's the door. Uh, so the door to this medium-sized house seems to be part way opened. Inside, as you as you look in, an older man creaks back and forth on a rocking chair, half asleep. A large table can be spotted in the back, filled with a fair amount of food. Um. Uh, what is for for Namrock and Dahlia? What is your passive perception, please? Or what is your perception? Should be on the left-hand side, I believe. Oh, uh, 12. I don't know where I'm looking. Passive wisdom, passive intellect, passive wisdom. Should be a oh, passive perception, then? Perception. Yeah, passive it's, it is perception. that, but it should also be in uh, brackets after the passive wisdom, insight, and then perception. Oh, what what is it you needed? A perception, please. Uh, perception. Oh, 16. Cool. So, with a 16, you also spot a comically large horn next to him. Like a hearing horn. So, you can tell he's probably quite deaf. Blessing of light to you, sir. <laughs> okay. As he then sort of wakes up. There's no need to shout. As he sort of then looks over at you. I don't know if you've noticed, but you have quite a large boulder at the front of your village, just outside your house. What? What's wrong with your shoulder? As he's looking at you now, realising he's not actually looking at you, he's looking to about a foot to your left for the wall. Look down at a Namrock and roll my eyes. Uh, you can deal with this. <laughs> Afternoon, yeah, sir. Got this guy's... Uh, just wondering if you've got any spare food we can take, please. What? Speak up, young man! Spare food. We need, please. As he sort of reaches over, grabs his hearing horn, shoves it in his ear, and he's like, Speak up, young man! Bloody heck, this deaf bastard. I need food. You've got it. Give me food. 
Um, can you give me a persuasion check, please? Yes. Okay. He's like, oh, are you dealing with that giant? Ah, uh, yes, we're dealing with the boulder and the giant up road. We need as much food as we can carry. Is everyone complaining about their shoulder today? Yes, yes, come in, get whatever food you need. Leave me be, I'm trying to sleep. So you you, you, you head in, um, collect the food into, into a sack. Um, he's still looking at the door, thinks you're still standing there. Well, come in, come in. You can tell not only is he is he quite deaf, but he's quite blind as well. Is that is that two sacks we've got now? Uh, it's probably about three sacks worth now if you count the first house. Okay. Can I look around the house for anything of use? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, I mean, give me a give me a perception check. Tried. <laughs> uh, there's there's nothing of note that you can see. Can I can I take the hearing horn? I mean, yeah. By now, he's probably put it back down on the table and he's gone back to rocking in his rocking chair. Uh, give me a stealth check. I assume you're going to do it stealthily. Yes. Yeah. Yep. You're you're able to take his hearing horn without him realizing. Thank you, good old man. <laughs> uh, just to warn you on the on the hearing side. There is a bit of earwax on there. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. We'll give it to Bonk. He'll clean it. Uh, anything else? Or are you now leaving this poor blind and deaf man's house whose hearing aid you've just stolen? Yep. We're leaving. We just okay, him. Cool. Brilliant. Uh, cool. So then Martha turns around and goes, right, we've almost got enough. Actually... I've got two scythes here. Um, would anyone mind heading down to the cornfields and cutting a bit of uh, wheat down? What the heck's going on here? Sounds like a bonk job. Just, Oops, just to fill bonk. it out to make it look like there's a lot more food. Oh, what am I doing? So you have bonk, a look over in, in the direction that Martha sort of gestured. Um, and you see that there's a patch of fresh wheat on the nearby land, undisturbed. Um, and there's a couple of halflings also sort of tending to it. And they've sort of half filled up another cart uh, that could probably be filled up um, and headed out. Uh, and next to the cart, there's there's another two scythes uh, that two people could pick up and chop a bit of wheat down with. But Martha does say, just, just, just be careful. You never know what you find in those fields. That doesn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> it's definitely yeah. a bug job. So I hit nature with blade scythe. Yep, I can do that. Hit, I can hit, do that. Hit it, and we Come get on, food. Come on, bunk. I'll take you down. Yeah. Let them go, go, yeah. Can we like watch? You can do. We go we have to, which field is it? Sorry, where it's down to the left. Where's, yeah, the bottom left one. From where you are. So right from where your character is looking. I'm gonna stand here and watch. Oh, no, no. oh wow, that's cool. It even detects walls. I know. So you can't I, just go I over the wall. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> awesome. Oh. So who? So who's doing scything? I'll do Bonk and I. Awesome. Wait, 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 there's two. Oh yeah, we've got two sides, yeah. There's there's two sides, yeah. Um cool. Can I get from both of you uh let's get some athletic rolls, please. Oh shit bed. Yeah. Let's see how <laughs> good you God. are. Right. Let's see how good that... you are at tending the land. I've got a plus seven to my athletics, so I'm happy. It's all on you, mate. <laughs> it's all on you. <laughs> yeah, cool. mate, Nineteen. So you're able to to sort of, you know, go oh, through oh, it like a <laughs> You're both you're both able to sort of you know go through this field like a like a good pair of you know combine Um 
Um, I'm Across just gonna bonk. don't get too far, lad. I'm just gonna move to some public rolls. Um, because let's roll to see what you find as you're trolling through this this field. Hey, Bob, um, I've got a present for you, lad. Got this here in aid, just for you, mate. Little gift. <laughs> Ooh. Bon kind of stops what he's doing, looks at it, and is like, "Ooh, it's one of those blow horns!" and instantly brings it to his lip to blow through. Oh. Oh. That's it, mate. That's it. It's for blowing. Well done, mate. Well done. And he's then instantly disappointed that it didn't make any sound. It would have made some sound. <laughs> he just would have been nice, over the moon. Just a nice low level hum. Yep, he would have been over the moon. Um, he's got a nice so smile on his face and gets back to work. See if so you guys are you guys are going through this field quite quickly. So your first roll, nothing you're able to go through quite easy. Um Namrock, you you find some some little critter bones. Uh, in the field that might be quite handy for later on. Okay. Fantastic. Can I pick those up and you stick pick them in my bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no problems at all. Just noticed there's sheep in this field. There, there is ah. sheep. Um, you f <laughs> Namrock, uh, sorry, Bonk. Uh, hidden within the wheat is a small bunny nibbling at the wheat. Oh. Um, I don't get to tend the rabbits. Do with that wabbit as you as you like, but he kind of stops and looks up at you. Bonk immediately drops his scythe and slowly gets down to his knees with a big childish grin on his face and opens his arms and hopes the rabbit comes to him. The rabbit just kind of looks at him for now. Uh, and then the last roll is nothing. It's an easy, it's an easy, it's an easy harvest. You guys got off lucky. All of these uh, roles are private, by the way. Are we not meant to see what they are? No, uh, no. So basically, there's there's a dice. It's like a it's, uh, and I've got a roll table. So I oh, roll okay. four times, and uh, depending on what the the dice rolls, I then see what happens. Oh, okay. Um, and you guys get away pretty damn lucky. Uh, you're able to get as much wheat to to fill up the last carts. So you've now got two large carts worth of food. I'm just playing in the field with the sheep. <laughs> Bonk is going to immediately, out of nowhere, just spring forward and try and, like, pounce on the bunny. Yep, you catch the bunny, you open it up in your hand, and it seems quite content, for some reason, to just be sat in your hand, nibbling away at the wheat that it already had. Uh, oh. Bonk's kind of looking at it like, Oh, I was going to feed you to the giant, but you're nice. I'm going to keep you. As it looks up at you with its big blue eyes that it apparently has. Don't know if Rabbit have coloured eyes, but it now has blue eyes looking up at you. Um, and just sort of just sits there in your hand, happily nibbling away its wheat. Uh, Bong's going to take a big piece of wheat from the cart they've just filled up. He's going to put the bunny rabbit on his shoulder and give the bunny rabbit another piece of wheat. Okay, for now, the, the bunny's just going to stay there and just be nibbling away at the wheat. Because why not? Huh. Bonk got his dinner. So we, we've got enough food now, right? Or do we still need more? I mean, no, who's, who's, who's the best person to ask? I don't know. Let's go see Martha. Let's go see Martha. Half lady! It's all running over. I don't wow! Know I'm doing one square you, at a time. you you guys seem to seem to have done quite a good job. <laughs> it's not my first time hitting things. <laughs> I think we've got enough. Let's start heading up to where the giant lives, and uh, and see what we can do about it. Follow me. Renestra, are you coming with them? Yep, cool. And then hopefully, as if by magic... Dun, dun, dun. We were teleported. You, you're in this, now this bit of a thick forest as you're, as you're sort of travelling through on your journey. Um, I don't think I miss anything. Um, Can I just check, yep. like, the carts are, like, 
we don't physically have to pull them, do we? No. <laughs> I was about to say, if we do, I reckon that's also probably a bonk job. I was going to say. <laughs> uh, so Martha quickly helps you load up the cart and throws a cover over it. Although the food is not plentiful, it's surely enough to maybe draw the attention. Uh, one thing for sure is you're going to have to be pretty careful. She quickly saddles up on one of the three horses and then turns towards you. The giant isn't far off, but the hills themselves aren't free of threats. Let's try and be quiet and be safe. Uh, and then with that said, your short travel begins. Uh, so your journey proceeds quite calmly for the most part. Uh, as you make your way into a forest clearing. Um, can I get some perception checks from people, please? Before you start running off into this forest. All of us, yeah. Please. Bonk is too busy oh. petting the rabbit. So, Dahlia and Renestra sort of notice um, some small hunting traps um, that are made on wood and bone on the ground. Um, the question is, is do they say anything? Because Namrock and Bonk are sort of walking towards some of them. Who's a cute little rabbit? You're a cute little rabbit. Boy, I don't feel like deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna name you Barry. Cool. In which case, can uh, Bonk and Namrock? Can you roll me some athletics checks, please? Barry the bunny. Oh fuck! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, God. oh Jesus, well, you two. Um, hey, man, the bunny's taken up all of my mind power. <laughs> um, as both of you step into, luckily, small critter traps, um, can you both do me a 1d4, please? Um... Where can I where can I get that please? Yeah, where do you do custom? Um, uh, so that'll be in Foundry, in the chat window underneath where all the rolls oh, are. Oh yeah, I see. You should just so be able to click the one D four and then click roll. Yep. Sorry, so again under uh, oh, sorry, so click the triangle on Foundry at the bottom. It's all the different uh, dies at the bottom oh, okay, where it yeah. says zero roll. Click the triangle one, then click roll, the D four. Bonk as the first trap snaps closed on your foot. Uh, can you please take two points of damage? Oh, oh no. my toe! <laughs> and Namrock, the same for you. Can you please take one point of damage um, as you I also step two, into a trap? You take two, Namrock takes one. Yep, cool. I'm not healing you for that. Bloody traps here. Anyone seen these traps? Oh, um... my foot hurts. Your horses lead you calmly into the forest um, through a dirty yet passable road. Martha remains silent yet driven, looking around as best she can to keep an eye out. When you finally arrive into a small clearing where Martha turns towards you and gets off the horse, we should give them a few minutes to rest before we go towards the giant. Uh, so all of you are kind of sort of in the middle of this clearing now. She gets off and begins setting up for something for them to drink from while you sort of observe the surrounding area. So just kind of where you are, there is a large jagged rock that sits assumingly, unassumingly, sorry, uh, in the middle of the clearing. Uh, it does have some markings on it. Um, but yeah, what, what would you guys like to do? Um, I'm going to... Go over to this rock. Can I like investigate this? Yeah, sure. Give me, give me a nature check. Uh, okay. Oh, it's on the bed. What is happening? Uh yeah. You you don't see. You don't notice anything on this. You, you barely even notice the markings on them on the rock. So, Bonk is also going to go up to the rock, but for a very different reason. He's going to see if there's anything <laughs> edible for the bunny. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> you could probably pull off a bit of the moss that's on it and see if the bunny's interested in it. That's exactly what he's going to do. <laughs> uh, give me... Do you have an animal handling? 
yep, yep, animal handling is a Yeah, check give me an doing. animal handling check. Oh, I've only just realised I have a minus two on that. I <laughs> have made a mistake. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I'll take it. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the bunny kind of like sniffs at it, but you then realise that maybe moss isn't something that this rabbit is keen on. And it continues to, to just nibble on a bit of wheat that you've given it. Don't worry, Barry. I'll find you something nice. See Does that. anyone else want to check out this rock? Mm. Or the surrounding area? I mean, I can look around. I want to investigate it. Make sure it's not trapped. What are you investigating? Sorry, the area, the, the rock. rock. The rock. Oh. Can you give me a nature check on the rock? Can somebody just give me a decent nature check on this rock? Sorry. No, <laughs> no. There's nothing of note that you notice on this rock. Can I try? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> She's a wood elf. Also I nature, swear. right? Oh, we're, no. both na uh, we're both We're both elves. elves. <laughs> you live in the forest. Hey! There we go. So, as you check out the rock, you, you reveal that the marks are probably where some sort of wolf-like creature has been scratching their fur against it. Fantastic. Hmm. Well, that does not look good. This is not going to be fun. <laughs> On the edge of the clearing, you can just make out one tree over to the left. That's a little bit... It is over to the left, isn't it? It is over to the left, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is larger than the rest. I don't know if I can. I don't. Yeah, I haven't got ping set up, so I can't ping it. But it's over on the left. Um, that's a little bit larger than the rest. Something about the bark looks a bit odd, almost as if it extends to the point that you would expect it. Unnaturally so. Bonk is none the wiser. He is cuddling his bunny oh it's, it's bunny. something really that only the renestra kind of notices yeah that makes sense if you go renestra it's your time to shine me what <laughs> wait what me <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me oh boy <laughs> i'm gonna lay on this rock and, and i mean it's a tree what do it you is want? a tree <laughs> do, you, do you want to investigate the tree I can investigate the tree, why not? <laughs> Give me an investigation roll then, please. Oh boy, I'm not the right person to take this. <laughs> nice. I think you are. I mean, <laughs> uh, you notice a little clasp, and as you open, the bark opens like a door, revealing a stash of food. Ooh. Yes. I mean, are we gonna steal this food? <clears throat> now bon now uh, Bonk's paying yes. attention, and he's gonna run <laughs> straight over to see if there are any carrots. <laughs> I mean, you could put your bunny in the bark. But, but then I leave bunny. I just, I just take food <laughs> and give to bunny. Then I keep bunny. So as you sort of looking at the tree more, you see a heart etched onto onto the tree, and it's got on there A plus A inside this heart. Oh, just isn't just, that just letting you know. Sickly romantic. <laughs> what would you like Ugh. to do with this food? Hmm. What do you guys think? Do we leave it or do we? It's very strange for a basket of food. Just to, I feel like it could be a trap. Yeah. Like, I think we should let Bonk maybe touch it. I'm just sunbathing on this rock, none the wiser. <laughs> just chatting away to Martha. <laughs> yeah. Like, Bonk just shrugs his shoulders and begins rummaging through the food, specifically to see if there's any, like, lettuce or carrots. Yeah, there's lettuce and carrots in there. There's there's all <gasps> amount of different veg in there. He's going to grab the biggest carrot he can find and slowly bring it towards the bunny's lips. And the bunny oh, happily thanks. accepts. <laughs> You go, Barry! You go, buddy! Have you named the bunny Barry? Yes. <laughs> okay. Just just wait to double check, uh, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask um if I can, ask Martha about this tree, about this food parcel in the tree. 
Uh, Martha's not really in shouting distance of you, yeah. uh, but you're more than welcome to head over to her if you want to go and talk okay. to her about it. Is that what you want to do? Yes, please. Yeah, if I can head over there and just have a, a little chit chat. Yeah, of course. As you attempt to step away from the tree, um, there's suddenly a clicking noise. And can I get the three of you to give me some dex saving throws, please? Oh, shit. <laughs> I, knew it was, I knew it was a trap. Uh, uh, which, what, which one do you uh, want? So where you see strength Dexterity. and constitution on the saving throws, you just want dex. Oh, what is happening with these dice? <laughs> it's embarrassing. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> so. This is not going to end well. Bonk and Renestra. You are able to step away quite safely. Namrock oh, no. with his plus five decks. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, gets caught up by a rope that's on the floor and gets hoisted into the air by his uncle. Um, <laughs> I, just, I don't know how you manage it every time. Bonk just kind of stands there, points and laughs at him, like a real deep, hearty laugh. As this happens, you hear some barking off in the distance. As um, from north of you, you notice. Uh, you don't notice because it's paused. Uh, but coming towards you, some wolves and bugbears. And can I get you guys please to roll initiative? Just before combat begins, can I quickly grab the bunny and safely nope. chuck him into the bush on my left? Oh. Uh, you can on your turn, but we're in we're in okay. combat now. I will take that. That takes precedent over an attack any day. Cool. Oh, oh so the Namrock. <laughs> Nam Sorry, I'm, ch I'm choking. I'm choking on nuts. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Ashley! Did you get those from Soren? Kinky. <laughs> no, there was nothing left in his sack for me. How about That's you? The sack you crazy about. Dutch bastard! <laughs> um, cool. So it's the it's the first bugbear's turn, um, and he's going to throw his javelin at the Namrock that is now hanging up in the air. Um. So, does he hit you with a 11? Nemrock? Hello. Does he hit you with an 11 with his javelin? Does he? I don't know. Yeah. Does he? What's your armor class? What's your armor class? Oh, 13. Sorry, 13. No, it 13. doesn't hit then. So, no, it's his... Gotta, uh... It's got to be It's got to be your armor class or above your armor class to hit. Okay. So his yeah, javelin definitely. goes flying past you, missing. Um, but he definitely has your attention as you're hanging upside down. Um, the it's the other bugbear's turn. Uh, he also throws his javelin at uh, Namrock. Fantastic. As you are the target hanging in the air. And he rolls a 10. Dodged it. So you somehow managed to dodge it. I'm going to put it down to their accuracy rather than your dodging. Yeah, based on my rolls, yeah, I'm going to say that too. <laughs> I can just imagine him <laughs> hanging upside down by the rope and just flailing his body left and right, like, ah, can't hit me! Ah, can't hit me! <laughs> Dali, Dali, it's your turn. Uh, I kind of open my eyes and jump off this rock. Oh, um, can I blind one with blindness? Sure, who do you want to blind? Uh, one of the bugbears. Uh, Which maybe one? the one that's closest to me. Go for it. Behind the wall. Do they need to roll or do you roll? I hang on, I've lost it. Uh oh, it's an actual spell. Yep. 
While Dahlia is doing this, uh, can I ask everyone else to sort of have a think about what they're going to do so when we get to your turn, you know what you're doing? Yep. Yes. There you go. You need to roll your save, Constitution. Constitution DC 14. Yep. Yep. He rolls an eight. So I blinded him. Okay. Um, Wait, which one was targeted for that? Sorry. The the the, the bugbear. Bo bottom right, the one that your mouse is on. Yeah, that one. Okay, so is each square five feet? Uh oh, yeah, good point. Oh, well, so yeah, he is. He is range. not in range. Sorry, oh, yeah, no, you're no. right. He's out of range. If my range is thirty. Hang on. Yeah, you could just move forward. You've got uh, movement per uh, per turn. Movement doesn't yep. cost action, so you can just move forwards a little bit. There you go. Now it will hit him. Yeah, that's I did, fine. I did. I did that first. Yeah, that's fine. He's now blind. Um, well, I took him out of combat, so I'm just going to put him back in combat. There we go. Um, fantastic. Thank you very much. Also, I know you said not to talk when we're doing combat, but mechanically. I don't mind helping a little bit. Just no, no, that's that, that's fine. I just don't want to yep. see discussions. That's all. Yeah, no, just just want to clear that up. Um, this is the dire wolf on the left here. It's his turn. He's going to run up to the nearest person, which is Renestra. As you can see, obviously, it's a dire wolf, so it is huge in comparison, uh, and it's going to oh, well. go for a bullet. And it's going to attempt to bite you with a twelve. Nope. It misses. <laughs> Fantastic. The second one is then going to go running up to Dahlia. And is going to come at you with a bite for 13. Oh, miss. Nice. A Renestra, it's now your turn. Okay. Um... Can I shoot the string that is holding up? Yes. Um, yes. Namrock? If you want to turn around and take a shot with your with your bow and arrow, yes, you may. Okay, what do I need to roll? <laughs> long bow, just long bow, right? Yeah, just for your long just bow. The just the damage. Uh, no, just the please, attack. Please don't hit me. Please, please don't hit me. Like I would do the attack, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please don't hit me. <laughs> 12 um that's the damage yeah i need you to I roll the you what did the, i need you to roll the attack not the damage sorry <sighs> okay it's the hit dc right yeah so i'm just looking i'm just looking over at chat every now and then and just laughing um 15 15 jesus yeah okay that hits um so the arrow rips through the rope that is holding namrock in the air namrock is now going to drop about eight feet to the floor namrock can you roll me a d6 please oh I'm so sorry man. i was gonna say eight <laughs> feet ain't that high and then i remembered that's double his height yeah so for him that is quite high oh Oh, bonk. <laughs> Namrock, as you hit the floor with a giant bonk, can you take two points of damage, please? Oh, this pleases me. I swear, Namrock, and... all your damage so far has just been from just, like, falling over or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, I can and do another attack, right? You can, but bonk is also prone. So he's I'm laying on the floor. Namrock. Namrock's prone. I'm not prone. Sorry, not not yeah, don't, bonk, Namrock. <laughs> yeah, don't draw I mean, me on the floor. <laughs> is there anything I can do? I mean, you're, uh, <laughs> you're right in front of a dire wolf if you want to do anything. So I would you... like to, yeah. <laughs> do you want to attack him? I think so, yeah, because obviously he's right in my face. Oh, yeah, and he's uh, taking bites at you. Yeah, so I will probably do the same longbow, just uh, oh, let me quickly check something. Wait. That's fine. While he's checking that, you can still roll. Uh, do I do the hit DC or the damage one? <laughs> hey, so first is always hit. 
And then if you hit, you do damage. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so if you do a ranged attack while the enemy is in five feet of you, you have to do it with disadvantage. Oh, okay. That's what I was checking. So you can either stick with the ranged attack and do it with disadvantage or use your melee attack and roll normally. Uh, yeah, you do have a short sword on you, actually. I'll, I'll allow you to go I for the short, short sword, sword if you'd prefer. Okay, I will go with the short sword. Yeah, just roll for an attack on that one, please. 18. Yep. Yeah. So you hit with the short sword. So now roll for damage. Oh. Um, it's just piercing damage. So that's just, just the 10. What's the Colossus Slayer damage? Uh, uh, imagine that Colossus, speed. this if uh, if the uh, direwolf had had been injured before, then he would take sixteen damage and not ten. Uh, uh, okay, that's fine. So he just takes the ten. Yeah. That that's oh. that's the end of oh, my yeah, that's, that's a nice perk. I've just read that. That is nice. Yeah. Uh, you guys should be able to hover over the the dire wolf, and you yep, should see yeah. they're injured, and you should badly see that he's injured badly well. injured. Yep. Cool. Uh, you should be able to do that with all the creatures. Let me know if you ever can't. Yep. No worries. It just gives you a rough idea of what they're they're like at that point in time. <laughs> uh, so next is Bonk. <laughs> so, I'm assuming it's going to cost me an action to put the bunny down. Yes. The bunny is currently in your hand because you're currently feeding it a carrot. So, it'll cost an action to put him down. Will it cost an action to just put him back up on my shoulder? Because he's still technically on me. Um. Yes, but I will warn you there's a risk of him falling. Right, okay, better idea. I'm going to use my action to put the bunny rabbit down. And in reaction to uh, them f hurling javelins and spears at Namrock, Bonk is going to rage and grow a spiky tail. 5, 10, 15, 20. Excuse me, a spiky tail? tail. Yeah. Okay. Yep, you when grow I rage, a spiky tail. I, yep, when I rage, I can either take on claws, teeth, or a tail. Awesome. So, Go for it. And with that, Bonk is going to run roughly into the middle of them both and just scream at them. I can't attack. I don't have any actions, but I'm going to scream at them and try and get their attention to get them all to attack me. Okay, so you're going to try and get the, the aggro on you. Yep, uh, with everything I can. Any, I'm going to try and get everything to go towards me. Give uh, me an intimidation be... roll. Oh, happily. <laughs> oh mate they've noticed you don't you worry about that you have been Excellent. well and doubtly noticed Excellent. Right. yep that's the end of my turn then I'm happy um, I've just noticed Martha's been renamed so I'm just gonna rename Martha what was she renamed to uh, just Martha, because currently she's suspicious Martha for some reason. Is she suspicious? She's not suspicious, no. Um, right. She's going to go hide she's behind a rock. Um, oh, sorry, yeah, that's Martha's turn. And it's now the rock. So basically, when I add tokens onto the field, like multiple enemies, uh, I've got an add-in that should give them like names. Like The, t the, the back two bugbears are critical bugbear and well-behaved bugbear. So that you can try and discern which one you're talking about. It doesn't always work. Uh, sometimes works on creatures I don't want it to work on. Um, but this well-behaved bugbear is going to push past this blind bugbear. And come and try and get his direwolf to, to attack properly. Oh god. Namrock. Hello. So just for my understanding. So when I'm prone does it me a turn to get up or can i just use that half your movement to get up? Oh, so you can get up but it uses half your movement 
Ah, that's nice. I thought it was a full action. No. Um, and where can I where can I see the movement? Sorry. Uh, so the movement um, on your character is twenty five feet. It's above oh, your okay. armor oh, class, so you can see. Okay, it. that's fine. So if we're half in that, so roughly ten. So if I come to. Uh, so, so first of all, you're getting up, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go stand cool. next to uh, Renistra. Yep. Feel free to move yourself. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, and then I'm going to F this um, direwolf up. Sure. How are you attacking it? I'm going to attack it with a short sword um, and a sneak attack because why Why the hell not? Let's, let's finish it. Sure. Go for it. Right, there's me attack. And there's mistake attack. See you later. <laughs> is that 16 damage, is it? 16 damage plus the 8, so that would be 24 oh. total. Okay. Namrock, for the first time in this D&D session, tell me a story. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> Okay, so uh, as as Namrock um, got up from being shot out of the tree by uh, by Renestra, thank you for that. Um, Namrock <laughs> approaches the the side of Renestra, um, pulls out his dagger and short sword at the same time, and plunges it into the direwolf's skull um, in an absolute fit of rage of just just anger of having to to fall out of a tree and being ambushed um so yeah so there is there is a lot of rage going on right now with with namrock but um after after plunging sword and dagger into the direwolf it has now been killed uh and he stands over the corpse just panting absolutely panting just ready for the next fight awesome thank you very much uh as we move on to the next bugbear's turn as he sees obviously the ease in which you dispatched um, that dire wolf. He pulls out of his pocket a whistle and blows the whistle as hard as he can. And nothing happens. Uh, it's then the, <laughs> the blind bugbear's turn. Um, he's blind. How long is he blind for, Dahlia? Um, it says one. Oh, no, wait, that's not that spell. Uh, duration is one minute. Is it the blindness deafness spell? Yeah. Yeah, the duration. Oh, so is he's one blind minute. and deaf. I hope so. Uh, you no, can you blind, can blind or, deafen. or deafen. Yeah, it says She's blind, blind. And, and he's blind. And okay. Just for confirmation. At the end of each of its turns, the target can make a Constitution saving throw on a success. The spell ends. Cool. So he's not going to do anything. So he's just going to end his turn with a Constitution saving roll. Uh, and he's going to roll uh, a 17. Awesome. Good. The blindness so, lasts quite a while as well, because it's apparently six seconds per round. Yeah, it is. Uh, but his constitution saved him. Um, <laughs> sorry. Distracted by chat there. Um, it's now the critical bugbear's turn. And... He's going to head this way over to the corpse of his direwolf, and he he's pissed. Good. Uh, as it's Dahlia's turn. I would like to cast Burning Hands. Ooh. So I hold um, my hands up with thumbs touching and fingers spread. A thin sheet of flame shoots forth from your outstretched fingertips. Each creature... <laughs> in a 15 foot cone must take a make a dexterity saving throw a awesome. creature that takes 3d6 fire damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one do i need to press this before you roll uh yes uh was it sorry was it dexterity wasn't it yes awesome so we have we have a 16 and a 15. What's the what's the DC? I don't know. Uh, I can see it here. It's a DC 14. So they both save. So they both uh, take half damage. Uh, yeah. And you rolled a seven for damage. So half of that would be four. Woohoo. 
Um, awesome. That should be on both. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Don't worry. Um, brilliant. Now, after that short whistle burst that you heard, you now hear some rustling from the trees. Oh god. Oh man, it was a lot of whistles, wasn't it? I don't know, you heard the whistle as uh, some other guys decide to come and join the fight. This looks like a party. Oh, God. As we just get their initiative rolled in. Uh, brilliant. And we move turn to the honest direwolf here. That's uh, it's it. Uh, sorry, he was there. Cool. Now this wolf is going to attack you with its bite. And as it has an ally... Sorry, that one was there. As it has an ally within five feet of you, it uses its pack tactics to get an advantage roll. Oh, my taunt didn't work. Sorry, yes, you did. Sorry, I forgot about that. In which case, ignore what I said. It's going to turn and take an attack <laughs> at Bonk. Which means Dahlia gets a attack of opportunity on it. Sorry, what do I do? You, you can attack it. You get a free attack. You get a free oh. attack on it. Um, so I can do some more Benny hands. Uh, no, it has to be an attack. It can't be an assault. Oh, okay. Um, I would like to whack it with my mace then. Go for it. Do I do the hit and then the damage? So you do the hit, and if I tell you it hits, then you do the damage. So it's a 15, 15 hits. Two hit. Yep. Nice. So now you can roll for damage. Oh, woo. That's not bad. I mean, that's five bludgeoning damage. Um, but it does then obviously go and take... Now, unfortunately, its bugbear is still within five feet, so it still gets its advantage on the attack. As it comes to bite bonk. And both of them were pathetic. Uh, with advantage, it got 12. See, now, normally, that would have hit. However, I grew a tail. Which, <laughs> because he is within 10 feet of me... I can roll a d8. Which one is the d8? That's d8. Oh, as a reaction. D8. Yep, they use my reaction. And I add two to my AC, so now he does miss. Okay, yes. cool. Good to know. Well played. That's is this Renestra's it. turn? Okay, Renestra will... Please, please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. To this side <laughs> of Namrock, so she does not shoot him. Um, <laughs> we'll aim at the... Honest Direwolf with her longbow this time. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'll shoot. Frick. <laughs> 11. 11, unfortunately, doesn't hit it. Where I have another mm -hmm. attack. Yes. So I will shoot one more time. Yep. 20. Yeah, 20 hits it. Okay, roll damages. 18. Fucking hell. And that's with the uh, plus the colossal damage. Colossal damage. Uh, he, he, did he take damage last turn? He has been injured. Oh, just in general, he's been injured. Yeah, yeah I hit him, remember? The only thing Jesus. that matters is lower than his maximum HP. Whenever he's taken any kind of damage, that effect comes into play. Once yeah, per so turn... Good effect. Uh, once Titan's per turn, right. when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, the creature yeah. takes an extra 1d8 damage if it's below its HP maximum. Good teamwork. So the, the downside being she can only use it once per turn. That's fine. That arrow did some damn damage to that direwolf. Well, not... Not enough. <laughs> I mean, he's a giant wolf. Give him some credit. I mean... <laughs> true. 
Bonk. Yeah, it's a cleaner's bonk. Oh, hello. Right, my turn. I mean, there uh, is a big right. banner that should flash up on screen saying bonk's turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I missed it. I was, I was quickly typing in chat. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have my action now. You do. Right, so, this badly damaged direwolf. I don't like him. He tried to hit me, so I'm going to hit him back. He tried to bite you. Well, he tried to bite me, so... Oh, I should have grew... Non-consensually. Oh, tried to wrap your... T nope. Taste my great axe. Did you I roll assuming... attack and damage there? I don't know. I just attacked for great axe and it done oh because it does do both if you just do the left bit you have to do hit dc and then damage separately so yeah apparently i did do both together but you hit for 21 was that yeah hit for 21 uh, Jesus. Oh, yeah the hit attack was for 21 then seven damage yep so that hit oh jesus oh sorry i've just had a miss <laughs> everywhere ah uh, oh I, I i i'll be back in a second guys <laughs> oh, I'm, just no, gonna, no. I'm just gonna have to pause the game for a second. Sorry, everyone. Guys, I'm so sorry about that. I was pouring some Pepsi into a cup and it overflowed and went everywhere. And it's on my desk with my keyboard and everything. Um, I've been there. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's right. not the nicest. Uh, no, sorry, who's, whose turn was it? So, so I just done seven damage to the honest direwolf. You did, yes. Thank you. So how is the direwolf looking? Is he still alive? Uh, you, you tell me. Oh. Right, that's unacceptable. That is unacceptable. So I am. I'm. I'm going to go again. Because I get have two another attacks attack a turn. Oh, yep, okay, I get two ahead. attacks a turn. <laughs> there you go. I'm doing um, it let me just, so I'm just check hit. his. Fifteen does hit. Perfect. Oh, very nice. I will take so... that. Twelve. Bonk, tell me a story. So, with the first strike, well, he's going to deflect the uh, dire wolf's bite that he'd previously done with Bonk's tail. He's then going to cleave his axe into the dire wolf's leg to bring it down. He's going to rip the axe back out and simply slam it into the dire wolf's skull, splitting it open, giving it a quick little wiggle to really wedge it open, and then rip his axe back out again. Awesome. Thank you very much. I've got a wet desk. Uh, brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, Martha continues to hide as she is now terrified. Suspicious, suspicious Martha is now terrified, Martha. She's now terrified, <laughs> Martha. Uh, it's now the well-behaved bugbear's turn. Um, seeing the the attack on his direwolf, he's stepping forward. Um... 
And he's coming at you with his uh, morning star. Um, let me just double check. So he's going to swing his morning star at you for an 18. Wait, that was for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, right. So um, I've already had a turn, so I've got my reaction back, which thank God for that. So I'm going to, oh, I'm going to need a high roll for this. Uh, oh, he does not hit me. My AC is 20 for now. Okay. Ooh. Oh, don't worry. He's got friends, but it's Namrock's yeah, and turn. I, I, and I can only do that once until I get my turn back. So my reactions <laughs> are gone now. Namrock. Uh, so I'm going to be moving up to the uh, critical bugbear just above me. So Go for here, it. And yep. I'll be doing a short sword attack with a sneak attack. Okay. Uh, I do, do I do I need to do the hit one or do I just do the damage as, as a? You've still got to see if you hit him. So I'm doing. Sorry, just to check. I'm doing the hit roll first, then the damage yep. after that. Yeah. So always do the hit roll first, and then I'll tell you whether you can do the damage or not. Uh, 11 misses, unfortunately. Oh, give me strength. Uh, this bugbear does have a shield. I'll just let you know. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, I've moved. I've attacked. Uh, there's no way I can try and... Uh, you can, on your character sheet, click on bonus action and just see if you have any bonus actions. I don't know if you do or not, but it's worth checking. Two weapon fighting. It's the only. It's the only one. Yeah. In combat. No. Uh, uh, says... You can take a bonus action in each oh, of your turns action. to dash, disengage, or hide. So you can disengage and move back. Uh, um, so let's say you can move back one square if you want to disengage and move back with your fast hands. Sorry, no, with yeah, with that, your cunning uh, action. Saying that, when you're on your character sheet and you're looking at like you're on your all tab and you've got all your attacks, where it says actions, how many attacks per action do you get? So I feel like you should have two as well. Uh, attacks per action, one. Okay, you do only have one, okay. It's Renestra uh, yeah, that has with, two. With with the bonus, then, I'll, I'll disengage. Yep, disengage and you can move back. For, I'll, make you, I'll move back one square, let's say. Let's say two. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's settle for half. <laughs> okay, I can't do half, so I just have to do one then, I guess. <laughs> yeah, cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's now just the bugbear. Uh, he's going to move in here, which is 5, 10, 15, 20. That's fine. And he's going to attack you with his morning star. Uh, and he's, he's coming at you with a 13. Oh, I'm 13. Meets beats, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, so he's going to hit you with uh, 10 damage. Get the bed. Uh, but he also has the brute feature, which means a melee weapon deals one extra dice of damage when the bugbear hits with it. <laughs> Sorry, I've, got, I've got to stop looking at chat. Um... Which means we get another D8 of damage. Um, which, if... Oh, can you also take another 4 damage, please? So normally with the Morning Star, it would be 2D8 plus 2 piercing damage. But with his Brute, he gets 3 D8s. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> the narcissistic bugbears challenge uh challenge turn uh can I, sorry get... can i just challenge something yeah go for it so the intimidation that bonk did does that last was... the whole fight or is that only for like one turn after it was only at the two dire wolves all oh, right okay and they're both dead now that's true mm -hmm. thank you that's it he can try try and do it again at some point I am okay. very concerned. The thing is, I have a low AC, so I shouldn't. But <laughs> you are—you should be the tank as well. So, yeah, uh, I don't know 
The reason I have the lowest AC is because I have zero decks and my AC scales with my decks and my constitution. Ah, uh, okay. My decks is zero. Right, so they have 30 feet of movement, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Cool. That's that guy's turn. Uh, actually, know what? He's got a javelin. Oh. <laughs> Bonk. Incoming javelin. Oh, shit, I don't have my reaction, so I can't even tell swipe it. Uh, don't worry, he rolled a nine. Splendid. I am yet to be hit. You know what? The kids done more damage than these bugbears and the fucking <laughs> direwolves. Well, the, the bugbears kids were more dangerous. The bugbears haven't got to you yet. You've only been dealing with the direwolves. Can this I just say, true. though, the roll to hit there was the javelin roll, right? Is 1d20 plus 2 plus 2. And I, wow. and, I, and I still managed to end up with 9. Jesus. Uh... Other bugbear, you're also moving forward to the big guys here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, you're going to try and throw your javelin past the well-behaved bugbear at bonk. Um, and again, it's 1d20 plus 2 plus 2. Nat 20. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Ow. This is going to be fun. Uh, crit damage with a javelin coming through at you for 17 piercing damage. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a hot one, that. How you doing there? Uh, I don't know if I can do it that way because I don't have to maths. I'm okay. I'm still above half. Cool. Uh, I'll tell you what, Kathy, that was very close to happening. Uh, critical bugbear. Which one are you? You're this one. So you're going to come this side. And now you have uh, Namrock flanked. So any flanking creature gets advantage on their attacks. Yep. So he's going to no. attack you with no. his morning star. No, I don't want it. <laughs> I, I mean... 14? I'm 13. Okay, uh, rolling for damage. Seven damage. Go on. No, that's it. Is there any? Oh, okay. I thought you could be like, but because he is super <laughs> duper flanky, it's some more. No, no, no. I think if, as far as I'm aware, it's only advantage. Now it's time for the glum bugbear. And he's going to come down 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He is heading in Dahlia's direction. But the resentful dire wolf, he's able to get straight there. Um, and as there is an ally within five feet, he gets advantage on his bite. Remember when so we thought we could take on a giant. <laughs> with, with advantage, he gets a 12. Does that hit Dahlia? Um, no, it does not. 12, okay. did you say? Yes. No, it does not. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, in which case, it is now Dahlia's turn. Right, I'm going to move. I've got 35, so... Uh, if you move, the direwolf will get an attack of opportunity against you. Oh, but I need to go and heal people. You can oh, use oh, a bonus action to disengage, which negates the provoker attacks. But it will cost a bonus action. I don't think she has that as a bonus action. I don't have no. any. Oh, no, no. That's, no, that's not everybody. You have to take an actual right. action to yeah, disengage. Yeah, I don't have it. Yep. Yeah, no, that's So an you action. can take an idea. action to disengage, but then once you get over, you won't be able to. Although you do have, you do have some spells as bonus actions, though. Spiritual weapon as a bonus action. Oh, uh, that, so. And mass healing word, spirit shroud, sh shield of faith, sanctuary, and healing word. They're all, all bonus very, action. I can They're own... all very good. Oh, okay. Can I so do first that, of all, you're going to use your action to disengage. Then you're going to use your your up to thirty five feet of movement. Well, I don't have disengage on here. Yeah, you do. Disengage everybody is one of your face. actions. Yeah, everybody has disengage. It's just a standard action, like shove. Uh, attack, 
grapple. They're all basic. Oh, actions. there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna first of all disengage then. Yep. What so do I your action? So that's it. You just you just tell us that's you're it. doing that. Yeah, you've just okay, done it. Done and move away. And so then I can do the bonus action uh, of the spiritual weapon, I guess. It's a big one. So I, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'll move away. Does it? How far can I move? Thirty-five feet. So that's seven squares for you. I, wanna, so just, I don't want to go that far. You can just, move. So just just count seven squares. Uh, there's a ruler in the top left. Oh, I just count. I mean, the squares. you can move. No, I'm just going to move three yeah. or four. You, you, that's you fine. Don't have to move. Yeah, um, that that, that was six. That was six. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I would like to cast the sp sp spiritual weapon. Yep. Do you want to read out what it does for people? Uh, you create a floating spectral weapon within range that lasts the duration or until the cut until you cast this spell again. You cut when you cast the spell, you make a melee spell. Oh god, I'm too far away, aren't I? Can't do that because it's too far away against a creature within five feet. So that's no point of doing that. No, that's so. What that spell does is you summon a weapon wherever you can see, and then that weapon can attack things that are in five feet. The weapon can still move. It's not you that has to be in five feet. So I can stay here and then summon the weapon. Like yeah, yes. The, the, ra the range on the spell is sixty feet. Yeah, sixty feet. So I could cast it. I'm just going to move myself to explain it. So I can cast it and put it. I can't move myself. Pretty much Pretty anywhere on the map because all right, 60 yeah, feet I'll is just huge. do that. All right, I'll do that. So cool. I need to roll this one. I guess. Um, I don't know. That's what. <laughs> so who are you? Who do you? Who are you going to attack with it? I guess the badly injured one. In no, the unharmed one next to uh, Namrock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sure. So, so then, yeah. So that your that roll was to hit him, and you rolled an eleven. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't beat his armor class. Yeah, poop. Um, as a bonus action, but you've used this as a bonus action. So that's fine. Um, yeah, that's it for that one then. Yeah. Cool. In which case, we now move to Renestra. Okay, I... I will... Um... Aim at the bugbear, bugbear, just the bugbear, the one yeah. closer to the Nemrock. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Because he needs all the help he needs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's good. It's a critical failure. <laughs> that's good. That's really good. Um, Namrock and Bonk. Can Shit. both of you just please roll me a d20? Huh. I want to I'm decide so how sorry. badly this goes. Oh, come on! <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm injured enough! <laughs> yeah, sorry. I have to do some healing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. If only we had a healer. I'm sorry! I'm trying! So, <laughs> as... um. As Renestra is is knocking her bow, um, the the shock and the surprise of Dahlia's spectral weapon sort of gives her a bit of a shock as she sort of gets nudged to the side, lets her boost uh, her boost her bow loose as an arrow flies out in Bonk's direction. Uh, Renestra, can you please roll me a d8? Just a second, I need to figure out which one D8 and roll. Bunk! You get an arrow in the side of your calf that gives you four damage. <laughs> and reduces your movement speed by ten feet. No, that's too far, bro. That's too far. <laughs> uh, hold up. Renestra strikes again. Oh, my I... Achilles heel! My only weakness! <laughs> I have another attack, though. You do have another attack. <laughs> Pointed in the my... other direction. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Aim at the one by Martha. 
then I will Bob have one. to go over um, over my fellow Vodelf, and I'm I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna aim at the critical bugbear because go for it. Because only one possible chance to hit a friend, then not two. <laughs> Unfortunately, you miss, but you don't take anyone out with you. Okay, that's oh, good. Good. <laughs> My throws are really shit today. These dice hate me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'd have to say for the worst throws, it's going to have to go to Namrock so far. Hey. <laughs> Come on, Bonk. Right. Uh, uh, I have been thinking, but the issue is I'm at exactly half HP now. I mean, you've only got oh. one bug bugbear in front of you, so... Oh, wait, I've just realised. I'm currently immortal. Okay. <laughs> That's brand new information. I completely forgot that I'm currently, technically speaking for now, immortal. So, uh, the one in front of me, I'm just going to start cleaving. Go for it. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that hits. Yeah, yeah let's go for that. Just like brings his axe up and slams it down. Go to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> you take a nap here. Uh, by the way, Big Nelly, have you seen the pinned comment in chat? No. Big Nelly is big jelly of other people's dice luck. <laughs> uh, it is kind of reducing. Uh, are you reducing the damage that you take, Connor, because you're real raging? <laughs> Titan says. I don't actually... Uh, that might be a later level that I get that. Um, da, 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 I can't be surprised. Uh, I can't see anything about that. Unless I am missing something very basic. Uh, with Rage, you gain advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Uh, resistance to bludgeoning, oh, piercing, slashing damage. Oh, I do. You can tell I've not played Barbarian before. Uh, so uh, that will only be from attacks going forward because you didn't know. Yep, no, absolutely. Uh, and you can thank cool, Titan. Sir. Yep, thank you very much, Titan. Awesome. Right, so that's one of my attacks down. He is badly injured. Yeah, I can probably finish him. Excuse me, you can do what to him? Exactly. If that actually hits. Uh, it doesn't hit him, no. He's got natural armor and a shield. Oh, that's, 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 that, that's a pain. That is a pain. Uh, da, 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 and I have absolutely nothing else I can use. So, yep, that's me done. It's Martha's turn. Uh, and seeing the huge direwolf there, she's going to try and hide further. Uh, but the direwolf has spotted her. Uh, Connor, Titan also says you get two extra damage from each attack. Uh, that should be going through automatically, I hoped. I would double check. I'm not sure what it's like normally because I've not attacked without rage yet. Okay. But you realize it's the bugbear's turn in front of you. <gasps> oh, cool. And he's going to try and smash you with his morning star. Do it, I dare you. He rolled a 10. I don't even need my tail. You're pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. Well can you roll Pot in calling a kettle black? <laughs> can you roll an intimidation check for me, please? Yes. He's intimidated, mate. Memrock. Hi, sorry. I, I need to mention something. So uh, I don't know if this can be pro rated previously. Hopefully it can. But I have uncanny dodge. So I should have been taking half damage on everything. So that will that will take effect That's... going forward. Well, uh... Not from previous damage. No, because otherwise you'd have to go back and calculate it all again. Yeah, otherwise I would have only taken about half damage as well. <gasps> okay. Sorry, <laughs> just trying to. Oh yeah, no, it's because you. Uh, yeah, you have to spend your reaction to divide the incoming damage. So you can't do it for every single attack. You only get one reaction per turn. So you okay. could have only used it once per attack in between your turns. But okay. still, 
right now it's just a matter of it's a it's an ability that you've forgotten to use much like my uh resistance so yeah like ash said we'll just do it going forward now we all know okay cool all right perfect thanks uh okay so i need to get out of this um situation that i'm in right here <laughs> the situation so i'm going to i'm going to move down to um where the others are however there's gonna they're gonna be a reaction obviously on the enemy right uh, Unless you use disengage. does disengage work for multiple enemies yep okay that's when you then feel free to disengage so does that then count as an action or do i still get an action it, it, it yeah, is an that, action that is, yeah. your, that is your action okay that's um just checking uh hang on no because cunning oh. action so you have a bonus action on each of your turns to take the dash disengage or hide oh of course you're a rogue you are the one that can bonus action disengage so you can use your bonus action to disengage run and away and then you still have your action okay yeah sorry that's the, i did think that and then it's only because um bonk you said something on the last round saying it yeah no because i was like oh yeah use bonus action. action you're like no she doesn't have bonus action I'm like oh yeah but you do oh, okay cool cool right so i'm going to use my bonus action then to disengage and i'm going to retreat down down to here okay uh that's as far as i can go isn't it that's right 5 10 15 20 25 yeah okay uh and then i'm going to use my action which will be my short bow uh to I'm going to aim at the, the other direwolf that's still alive. Okay, that's go for it. going for Martha. Okay, so... Martha! It's... Sorry. Batman vs. Superman reference there. Are we good? Uh, you do not hit. Ah, oh, come on, guy. <laughs> <laughs> what the bloody hell is going on here? Uh, I don't think I can do much else. Um, let me just check. No, I can't. I've got no more actions, have I? So... Awesome. Okay. With that, you suddenly hear off in the distance a huge roar, um, as if from a giant creature. Uh, as the giant roar is heard, the bugbears all decide to turn tail and start running. Now, at this point in time, one of them is engaged in combat. Do it, you pussy. I dare you. I dare you. <laughs> Does Bonk want to let him run away, or is he going to take his attack of opportunity? Oh, no, he does not let the weak flee. The weak need to be punished. He will take so that uh, attack. You get easy. your attack of opportunity on the bugbear. Good lad. Good lad. And he misses. Oh, no, hang on. That's a, is that's a 20, so yeah, you hit. Yeah. yeah. And... <laughs> uh titan was right uh the two extra damage isn't coming through so i do have to add that manually so that'd be 18 slashing damage yeah he had four health points <laughs> yeah, you know he hit me <laughs> i hit okay. you uh so what's he he's the well-behaved bugbear so is there any story to go with that nah he just slams it down he's just gonna cleave him in two nothing okay. fancy about it nothing fancy about it fine uh as they turn tail and run calling their dire wolf with them uh you come out of combat uh, that was a nice warm-up he says as he reaches <laughs> down and starts really aggressively rubbing the arrow shaft in his path Oh. Can I, I know we're out of combat, but can I can I cast a spell and heal some people? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Well, I imagine so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can, can I? I, mean, I, th do, I um... think your fr I think your friends would really appreciate it if you did. <laughs> yeah, I was all ready for the next turn. You know, <laughs> all that <laughs> ready. Um, can I please cast Prayer of Healing? Up to six creatures of your choice that you can see. Are they creatures? Do they count as creatures? They yeah. will count as creatures. Um, within range, each regain hit points equal to do 2d8 plus your spellcasting ability modifier. 
The spell has no effect on undead or constructs. Well, you're not undead, are you? Not yet. Go for your roll. Um, I will use use it with my. Oh God. So good. That everyone was can a heal big deal, everyone. Health points. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, it's better than a kick in the chops, right? <laughs> Waste of a spell slot. Thank you, Lassie. Appreciate I that. I tried, guys. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, you tried. You, you would have got healed as well, by the way, if you had taken any damage. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, you know. <laughs> Hopefully, many... it helps with my, you know, aiming <laughs> next how time. Many, how many spell slots have you used now on that one? Uh, two out of three okay. on the second level. As Martha comes back round from a rock where she was hiding and she was like, Wow, you guys are better than I thought? <laughs> you sound really surprised. Bonk just kind of like lays his great axe on his shoulder and flexes his other arm like, These ain't just for show, lady. <laughs> Go look at your freaking rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> um, wait, we're just going to pretend that ten minutes have passed. Why 10 minutes? Because that spell that I cast no. takes 10 minutes. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, what does that mean? Can you explain uh, that to me? What do you mean? Like, it took 10 minutes to cast, so... What does that mean? Obviously, we so weren't in combat. It, it takes you 10 minutes where you sit down, gather your stuff together, start, you know, the incantation, and the whole process oh. just takes you 10 minutes to cast that spell. It's basically a way oh. of saying you can't use this in combat. Oh, well, that's okay then. We, we weren't in combat. Just, yeah, um, it's just a way of saying you can't really do this quick enough to do in combat. Yeah, that's okay uh, then. I do not remember. Now I've clicked on the ruler. I don't know how to get rid of the ruler to actually click on me. Click uh, the full screen button. Yeah. Wait, the what? <laughs> the square. Above it, there will be a full screen button, like uh, four corners. Like a square. Uh, okay, I did not see the entire... I also keep switching. Um, my screen also keeps like flowing up. There we go. I don't have the two upper buttons. Yeah, I've just had to F11 to get it. Right. Is Barry still here? Is Barry unharmed? He is, and he's unharmed. <gasps> and as you, as you kind of Shall approach him, he does kind of sort of come back over to you. <gasps> uh um, if you guys want to, if you need to, you are. I would allow you to take a short rest here as well. What do we get if they have a short rest? Do we get a spell slot back? Uh, that depends on the class. Hold on. Uh, if you click on short rest, it will tell you what you get back. But I can tell some people might need the short rest. Uh, I yes. have not clicked. I've used. Alright, so yeah, let's click the short Close. rest button and just see what happens. It, I, it says I have to roll a dice. Uh, yeah, or that's what? to regain your health. It's your hit oh, dice. Well, I don't have any. <laughs> I haven't lost any. That's fine then. Uh, at least when uh, nothing's genuous and eating, drinking, reading, tending to wounds. I don't think we get any spell slots back. Uh, you don't on yours, no. Just check yours. Alright, so I'm going to roll my hit dice once. Oh, that's a nice 12. Namrock, are you taking a short rest as well? Yes, please, yeah. What what's, what do I need to do, sorry? Uh, so in D&D Beyond, there is a short rest button at the top. Oh, just click that, yeah? Yep. Okay, mine glitched out. So it tells you 14, uh, you've got 14 hit points you can re-put on. You have to put them yeah, on yourself. But Okay, right, and then I take the short rest. Well, the, the 14 health points is part of the short rest. I have to take a long rest if I want spell slots back. And what? How many dice are we rolling? Uh, it should tell you in the short rest. Oh, so I can roll up to five? Yeah, you have a maximum amount and you can roll as many as you need to get the health back. Yeah. And what's the what's the ramifications if I roll five? 
Uh, uh, you then you can't use them again in a short rest. You got to wait until a long rest, I believe, and I don't think you get all of them back at once. I will double check that. So, so yeah, so you can't use them for future short rests if you need to. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna take three because I really need some health. Go for it. Uh, uh, what do I okay, no. Two? At the end of a long rest, you also get all of your hit dice back up. No, okay. up to a number of dice equal to half of the character's total number of them. So if you have five, you'll get two back. Okay. I believe we round up in D and D, so it'll be three. Okay, yeah, three okay. then round up. I'm gonna roll three then. Go for it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Sorry. No, no idea what's happened. <laughs> do you want me to? Did you roll? Do you want me to roll them it's, for it's you? Like or it, you've completed a short rest. Relevant abilities have been reset. But did it tell you what the roll was? Or no, it's not even coming up on screen. It's did oh, you? It, but it did does you say it's taken. It's, roll, roll it's rolled die? the three as well. Yeah, it's 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 flagged that he's taken the three. Um, let me have a look in the game log. Hang on. Ah, there we go. Because... Well, that's only one, though, isn't it? That's one. And then it disappears. What is happening? All right. Uh, uh, let me let me just roll this for you. That would be easier. Let's just do this. Yeah. Thanks. You can you can. It's for some reason on my screen it says Bonk did that. Um, I does say bonk that. For some reason, I rolled that as bonk. Uh, but Namrock, you can have 19 health points back. That sounds Ooh, delicious. Thank nice. you very much. Confused bonk sounds and you. Huh? Right, I'm at. I'm fighting fit again. Awesome. Are we taking a short break? In the game or in real life? In real life. If you guys want a quick toilet break, I could do of the wee wee, please. Uh, yeah. Yes, I, I need to replenish sure. my water. Okay, no worries, guys. We're going to take a quick five-minute break just so that the guys can go to the toilet, grab some more drinks and snacks and that. Um, I don't need to, so I'm going to stick around with you guys and see what's going on. So, players, uh, I'll come back to you in a few minutes. All right, be right back. Guys, how's it going? Who have we got, who have we got in chat at the minute? Pale Meerkat, how's it going? How are you doing? There's we go. I'm just scrolling up through chat. I've been trying to keep my eyes on chat where I can. Um, so yeah, hungry not hungry. Hi, how's it going, Josh? Yeah, I saw Josh in there. How you doing, Josh? Uh, GMB, GMB, how's it going, fella? Mary, how's it going, Marimatsu? Who else we got in here? Have I missed anyone else? Had a few people dipping in and out. I've seen. Um, but how has it been? How has it been your side? So do we have a rogue ranger barb? A barb? Uh, no, we've got a... If I remember myself now, it is all on the backstory. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, let me open it up and I can tell you. I don't have a PC, so I won't be able to play. No worries, fella. Um, we, we, I try and find ways to include everyone. So we have, so Bonk is a half orc barbarian. Um, so that's Con Kapow's Bonk. Rebel Storm's Renestra is a wood elf ranger. Pimgu's Dahlia is a wood elf cleric. And oh, that is all of them, isn't it? Bonk, Renestra, Dahlia. Where's Nimrod? And Namrock, that's it, Namrock. So the big Nelly playing Namrock, the dwarf rogue. Um, so these are the guys we've got playing with us today. Um, but yeah, how are you guys doing? How's how's it all coming across? Is all the sounds okay? Um, let me know how things are going. Obviously, you know, I'm obviously doing this not just for the guys that are playing, but for you guys that are watching as well. So I want to make sure it is good. It's music. I'm not. I've got to find some decent playlists for 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 good. Because I've put Twitch, not D and D. There's not really many Twitch playlists. 
There you go, D and D forest music. We'll see what's in that one. Yeah, I'm glad. You know, the one of the things that's nice when we're playing these sorts of games is is it's based on the people you're playing with as well. So if you're if you're playing this for people who are happy to you know role play experiment do funny things it does make it a more enjoyable experience like you've got bonk and he's now got his pet bunny you've got renestra who's put an arrow into into bonk's calf um hey sync master didn't see you in there fella how you doing hope you're well uh, you should have a card arriving to you soon uh that has been posted off so that should be with you shortly fella uh, makes me want to play and I've never played before. I mean, Josh, that's kind of what I want to do. I want to I want to make this um, able so that people who haven't played before, or maybe people that haven't played in a long time, you've all got the ability to, to play. Um, so the guys, they're only playing on, you know, they're using a browser for D&D Beyond and for Foundry, and then just using Discord for the call. Um, because what I like, I like to use Discord because then obviously you've got the pictures on the right hand side of the screen. So hopefully it makes it easy for you guys to pick up on who's speaking and who's saying what at what times. Um, one thing that I am planning is I'm in talks with different streamers at the minute so that um, I can get a big streamer game together. So hopefully some streamers that you enjoy watching um get them together as well because then you know we'll bring in their camera feed so they'll be streaming their view of the game you'll also be able to come in here and see my sort of general overview of the game um so you can see it from different elements and obviously if then the stream is chatting to chat like oh chat should we do this should we do that how should we play this that's all going on there um so, you know, so I, I will name drop some streamers because, you know what, why not? Um, but obviously, you know, for you guys, some common streamers, you guys will know Ghost Kai is interested. And if we get Ghost Kai, chances are we'll get Moz. Those two playing together is an amazing pairing. Mathman's interested. Um, so, you know, getting Mathman in a game is always fun, as if any of you have seen any of uh, seen Mathman's d, &D campaign we did that's over on his YouTube. Uh, I'm having a brilliant time playing this bonk. Oh, cheers very much, Connor. You're my brother, so you have to say that. But I'll accept it. It's completely fine. Um, who else have we got? We may be having talks with uh, Katatui. So Kat may be interested in having a game. Have to work out time zones for that one. But that's one I'm hoping to, to sort of get on the cards. Um, we've played with Shushis before. So if any of you know Sunny um they're absolutely amazing D, D player so i'd like to get them involved uh there's a stream team called scuffed uh i was talking to some of them in twitchcon in paris may go over and, and do a D, D campaign with them get a whole stream team together that'll be really good um so you know there are lots of things we're looking at doing uh but i want to I want to find ways of bringing D and D to people that have either never seen it before or they've heard of it, but they don't really know what it is. And I want to make it accessible to everyone. Uh, right. It's been a few minutes. Let's check in with our players and see if they have replenished themselves and are ready to go. Because hopefully they don't say anything inappropriate uh, <laughs> when we rejoin them. Hello, players. Hello. Hello, DM. Are we are we all back and are we all? We ready? can overthrow him. We can overthrow the DM. Oh, hi, Ash. <laughs> uh, I'd say bring it. Oh God. Um. Uh, by the way, bonk. You you may be healed, but uh, you still have a bit of a limp in your leg from where that arrow hit your calf. Oh. Just saying. So. Uh, your movement speed has been reduced permanently now to 35 feet. You've got some scarring oh, there. Mate. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do with that as you will. Uh, and as, as, as kind of, as kind of we, we resume, uh, Martha turns around to you and she is extremely thankful. You know, we managed to save all the food. We've got some of this extra food now from the tree. 
uh assuming you're putting that into the carts or are you guys gonna pocket that food or are you gonna are you gonna leave the food in the tree uh well i, I think we should take the food based on the fact that it was a trap anyway so let's let's take it so then no one else gets suckered into that trap again Cool. And as you as you reach inside the tree, Namrock, can you please roll for me? No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Um, so Martha sort of readies up the. Actually, have I got any more text left for this? I'm enjoying it. I'm forgetting the fact that I've got loads of things written down. Um, cool. As we move into chapter three of the campaign, which is the the last chapter. Um, after a brief stop, you once again gather up your cart full of food and head further through the forest until finally the trees begin to clear. The road becomes even more... What? That is not English. Don't know what I was thinking when I wrote that. And, <laughs> and slowly you find yourself on a neatly paved pathway filled with chirping birds and yet the tension is palpable. After about another half hour, the birds get replaced by a different noise, a more brutal one. The noise of a loud rhythmic snore. You ride until finally you arrive at a crossroads with a giant sleeping like a cherub in the middle of it. With an angry glare, Martha turns towards you and motions that you hide. Ooh. Oh, there he is. There's our cocker. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, he's he's a big boy. <laughs> wow. Just let's hope that his loincloth just covers <laughs> everything. Uh, the party now encounters a sleepy giant. Um, what would you like to do? I think I should go and ask him why he does this. There must be um, a reason. You can't just be the hunger. There must be a reason, right? I, I mean, as much as I want to cut that thing down, it, it's just, it's, 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 it's big. It's I mean, we have big. an advantage point. We can just, you know, take him while he sleeps. Excuse me? Phrasing. I think that's a good idea. Let me go around the back. <laughs> oh my god. I think we should just give him the food and leave. But we fought for this, but that no, no. That that's a bad idea. You have bad ideas. Hmm. Just try and see if I can change things on the screen. Onk is absolutely not being stealthy at all. He's just kind of pacing back and forth, trying to figure out what they're going to do. Bonk, be quiet. I am quiet. So just for the guys watching on the stream, this is what they're seeing up ahead of them. Um, I to be honest, I don't see anything up ahead of me. Okay, is, is the trees in your way, is it? Yep. I can okay. see it. Well, I'm showing the stream what it is. Um, just because with the way that the, the the software zooms, you can't see anything yet. Sorry, right, guys, carry how on. How about I scout up ahead, and I'll take a look, and I'll keep it to the shadows. Can you give me a any, stealth check, any, please, any... Namrock? Please, please. Oh, it's not bad. Fifteen's good, yep. Where would you like to sort of head? Uh, to to like the top, the very Go top, like round round by his head. I'm just gonna Ooh. take my gun out. Little man is very sneaky. Okay. Don't know why that's not zooming out properly. I'll have to fix that at some point. Hello, mummy and daddy hungry. Hi. It's going to keep overriding me, isn't it? Okay, cool, fine. Right. 
What did you find, Namrock? What are you going to tell the rest of the group? Right, we've got we got a sleeping giant. I don't know if you know that, but we've got sleeping giant over here. In really? the field Where? over there. <laughs> no way. In the, in the field above, he is holding on to a giant tree. I think we could uh, we could potentially have an advantage point there. Um, taking out his weapon, which is going to give us a bit of advantage. But I don't know if we need a distraction, a.k.a. bonk, just in case it goes wrong. I can do that. I can speak to him. No, I don't. I don't think speak to him is probably the best thing. We need to attack first. Then, if it goes wrong, then we go in with talking and, and the food. Because uh, ideally, I don't want to lose this food. Uh, exactly. So... I, I I truly think we can reason with him. Set the tree on fire. That sounds like a marvelous idea. Wait, 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 wait. Bonk kind of looks all around him, notices that they're, they're kind of while in a clearing, still in a forest. I, I I don't think that's good idea. I really don't think that's good idea. Burn the whole forest down. And then we're the bad guys. Quick, do I need to re-stealth check to go back up to the top? No, you can head back up. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I so... cannot move at all. Like... I keep getting uh you collide with the wall no matter which way i go <laughs> I, might, I, might not have, I might not have put you on the path properly that might be my fault thank you can you move now yes and now i can see the giant too awesome but i don't know that's just one plan the other plan is we just go in with diplomacy and and offer him food and see where that goes and just be prepared for a fight i am the master of persuasion Fantastic, me too. I could, however, deceive the uh, giant and pretend I'm his friend and then get him to maybe uh, walk away, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the best course of action is here. We could probably send Bonk in, but I think it's just going to end in violence if we send Bonk. Not good. You have little faith in me. I, I, I can be very dip, dip, let's, uh, let's... But, uh, dip, dip, but the word she said. Let's so distract Martha, it with right. Barry. Let's send Barry in. Martha is now starting to get very anxious. She's wanting, she's sort of quite urging you guys to sort of hurry up and, and make a decision and get going. She says she's got the food here, ready to go. She goes, let's just, let's just get this sorted quickly. Okay, bonk away. And he just kind of confidently starts striding in, not waiting for anybody to speak. Pisses. And okay. as, he reaches, well. as he reaches the clearing... He is going to announce himself in giant tongue. Hello, the friend. His bonk speaks giant. He's <laughs> got. He's got to kind of like look over at you, sort of half asleep, laugh at himself, laugh, laugh at himself, laugh in your direction, um, and then kind of roll back over and go to sleep. Oh, I, I. Suppose you don't want to know about the hill giants coming this way, then. That's that's a shame. I'll, I'll just let you deal with them alone, then, I suppose. He's gone back to sleep. Ah, oh, you know what? Fuck this. Bonk, rage! Bonk's going to rage, and he's going to go forwards. <laughs> he awesome. does not like being ignored. <laughs> Completely fine with me. In which case, we're going to combat, and can you guys please roll initiative? I'm so far away! And that is why I raged before combat. And I rolled a two. <laughs> you, you will get your... I will let you go for the first attack. Yes! So, you are here with... Oh... Bugger. Yeah, you moved everybody. <laughs> I did. We went to a tree. You are tree. <laughs> yeah, he was literally just gonna sprint forward and just do a leaping attack. I don't know why stream hasn't updated. Um, let me just try and update this for those watching on the stream. There we go. So, um, he's now awake. Um, no. Okay. Cool. He is now awake. Um, brilliant. What are you going to do to him? 
Uh, I'm going to run, jump, and leap, and try to bring my axe down, specifically if he's still laying down and still trying to get up, into his armpit. Go for it. I'm going to try bye and bye disable all. one of his arms. Friends. I imagine he has a bitch of an AC. Yeah, there's no chance. <laughs> so as you launch, you kind of land <laughs> into his armpit. And just the, the axe just kind of hits the skin, but doesn't really do anything as you kind of fall down into, into the ground. Oh, I also completely forgot to say, when I raged, I grew another tail. <laughs> completely fine. <laughs> Renestra, it is your turn. Okay. Uh... Uh, I think I, will, I need to move up here. So I can have a better view. Uh, and, what are you um, doing? Jesus. Oh my God. Fucking Christ. <laughs> 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 Not scary at all. Uh, and I'm gonna just aim my longbow at his, like, right between his eyes. And I'm gonna take a shot. Go yes. for it. I swear to God, if you still miss and hit me, <laughs> the target is 20, big enough. 22 hits. Oh, thank God. The Bane it will be nine. nine damage. Yeah. Oh, I can do another one. <laughs> Ow. Why do you do that? Oh, shit. <laughs> 14. 14 hits. Oh, Ooh, nice! He has a low AC. I mean, he's wearing no clothes. This is true. 12. Although, neither am I. 12. 12 damage. Awesome. Just two oh. naked oh. men battling it out. Leave me alone. Why you do this? Can I? Namrock, yeah. Can I? Can I talk to the giant, even though I don't speak giant's tongue? Uh, I mean, he's quite enraged. You can give it a try, though. You will need to move closer. Okay. Uh, oh, In fact, okay. actually, no. He only Red. speaks giant. So unless you speak giant as well. Okay, that's fine. Um, In which case, any words he's saying, unless you speak giant, you don't really understand. No, that's absolutely fine. Okay, wow. I'm gonna go. I'm going to attempt a uh, short bow attack, although I have a very bad feeling about this fight, but I can't. How, what's the distance on that short bow? Uh, 80. Yeah, that's fine. Is that, yeah, it's fine. Uh, okay, so. That's fantastic. That's so good. <laughs> oh, oh, you cough. <laughs> uh, please roll damage. No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> it's a big so, enough target. <laughs> so, as you fire your short bow, it somehow lands in Bonk's other calf. <laughs> Come on! Giving him three piercing damage, although Bonk, you do only take half of it. Uh, would that be rounded so up sorry. or it's rounded up? So it's still it's two rounded damage. up. Still two damage. And you've now got a bow in your other calf, reducing your... Currently reducing your movement by another 10 feet. So your movement is Eel currently bonk. reduced by 15 feet. Eel bonk. Sorry about that, lad. Um, gar carry on. Sorry, sorry about that. And I will change the note from leg injury to leg injuries. <laughs> <laughs> Plural. <laughs> Shut up, you fatty. Fatty? Did you say that in common or in giant? Oh, in giant. He said that in giant. Who oh, you call fat? Would you as, want me to say that you're pleasantly plump? As he swings his great club that he holds in his hand at you. No regrets. For a 17. <laughs> yeah, that hits. 
That is 17 bludgeoning damage. See? You're fat, because that really hurt. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's halved, isn't it? Yep. So that'd be, oh god, maths, why? Eight. Eight. Uh, I should probably let you know as well, he's got multi-attack with the Great Club. Oh, tits. So he's swinging back at you again. <laughs> and he gets 26. <gasps> yeah, even with my tail, I couldn't have stopped that. So please take another 17 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. So another 8, basically. No, oh, yeah, it's another 8. Yep, 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 <laughs> it's yep, only yep. 8. Yeah, it gets a half. Yeah, bit. and I need to give myself so another 9 again. Hit, no, heal, heal 7 damage. Wait, that probably works out. Yeah, um, we'll take that. That'll do. We're still testing, it's fine. Ha <laughs> ha, puny. I know, I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> Dahlia's turn. There's not much I can do other than move forwards. Yep. So I'm going to move 35 feet, which is what I can do. You can there still take actions. It doesn't take an action um, to move. I know, but, but nothing's in my range. Ah, yeah, that's a fair point. Um, Let me have a look. Hang on, 35 uh, is there anything you can do to bolster your friends? Not with it. I can bolster Namrock with guidance. Does that allow me to shoot he's, straight? he's in my... <laughs> would, uh, would you say he's in my touching distance like this? You can't ask him. Um, oh, I was Namrock asking is, you. So, yes, so yeah, Namrock is, yes. Yeah, so um, you touch one willing creature. Is he a creature? He is. Hello. Uh, once before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to one ability check of its choice. It, it can roll the die before or after making the ability check. Yep. The spell then ends. So I'd like yep. to cast Guidance on Namro. Yep, completely fine. Give him a little um, So use the that spell slot and then Namrock just needs no, to that's, remember that. that that's, a, that's a cantrip. Yeah, that's a cantrip. Oh, okay, cool. Brilliant. Uh, don't Thank forget you. you've got things like spiritual weapon as well and that's 60 feet. Can I use that as well as a cantrip then? That's a bonus uh, action. Oh, what, the cantrip yeah, is a bonus? No, no, no yeah. spiritual weapon. You've got, yeah, you've, um, you've got scorching got... ray. You've got scorching ray. That's one hundred and twenty feet. You've got a lot of spells that are quite distanced. What's the uh, fireball is one hundred and fifty feet. Let's use scorching ray. That one looks like fun. You okay. create. You create three rays of fire and hurl them at targets within range. You can hurl them at one target or several. I should have used that. The other one. Go for it. Okay, make a spell ranged attack for each ray on hit. The target takes 2d6. So, spell So, slots. three rolls. They, oh, I just pushed that. Oh, God. Okay, so the first one was an 8 and misses. Roll again. Scorching ray, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, 16 hits. And then I do the damage one, yeah? You do the damage, and then you roll again. Yeah. Nice. Nice, 11 fire damage. And then the roll again for the hit. Yep. And then a roll again for the damage. Uh, hang on, wait. Oh, three times yes. There you, you go. Gotta see, you gotta roll to, you got to wait for me to see the roll so I can tell you if it actually hits. Sorry. Did it hit? It did, yes. Okay, and then there's the damage. Oh, this was fire hurt. Um, cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, so before your next turn, have a look through your spells, because some of them have yeah. got a good range on them. Yeah, and that used it a big spell slot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Martha is, Martha's now timid, Martha. Uh, but she's okay. going to be hiding up here still with the food. Bonk, your turn. Mm. 
I want to attack, but I also don't want to die. Wait, no, I'm immortal. <laughs> what are you doing? I, I rolled for an attack. I'm just going straight for my great axe. Cool. Yep, you hit. Oh, plus two as well. So that's 18 then. Yep. Yep. For my first attack, and I'm going to spin around and do another cleaving attack. Go for it. Another 18. Nice. And a nat one for damage, but it still gets rounded up nicely. There, there isn't a, like a, a nat one or anything for damage. It's no, just 11. So it's just 11. Uh, 13, because I still get the plus two. Yep. Oh, I just said it just... <laughs> Hang on. Um, <laughs> I just took so much... To, I, I put his health down to 11. Damn, I'm strong! <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Renestra. Renestra? Oh, um, you could not hear me. I swear Sorry. to God. I, I had swear. my, uh, <laughs> my uh, mic was turned off. Yeah, I, I, was, I said that I'm aiming for my rolls are shit. <laughs> Can you uh, roll for damage, please? I'm so sorry. But and as Bonk has taken damage, um, but that is half, so Bonk takes four damage to the back. And for your yes. second shot? Yeah, I'm scared <laughs> to do anything. Do it, I dare you. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's nice. nice. That's nice. Do that again. <laughs> yeah, nice. So that's 14 damage, nice. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Namrock. So in the... Thank you. So in the heat of battle, can I still talk and... You could talk, but no one can loud? answer. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Great. So you can, like, give commands if as long as it's within six seconds. So, like, a sentence or two. <laughs> I, I don't think this guy's our enemy. I don't think he's our enemy. We need to be careful. Uh, right, I'm going to... Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do. I, I'm just going to move here and I'm not going to shoot because I feel like I'm going to kill Bonk. So I'm just going to... Can I move the food carts within range? Can I do something with the food carts? Yeah, yeah. Feel free. Don't forget I, you've I got my guidance as well. Okay, fantastic. So I want to move the food carts into the vision of the giant so the giant can see them, so they're out in the open, so you can go for it to them. Uh, what, what, what am I doing? Just, <laughs> just move there, and I'll just say that the food's moving with you. Okay. Right, so we're going to move the food to here. So hopefully that's within range of his vision, which it should be. And I'm just going to leave the food there so he can see that and hopefully get distracted by that. No worries. Thank you very much. And it is now the giant's turn. Oh, shit. <laughs> you no threat. Me go have bite now. As he sort of uh, moves towards Namrock and the food. So, obviously, bonk. Attack of opportunity. No. Bonk's not going to attack him. Good luck. Okay. Because you He's... know what? The giant's probably done less damage than the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and he starts eating the food. Um, yeah. That's, that's about it. Um... Dahlia. 
Uh, I would like to cast Healing Word on Mr. Bonk. Please. What's the it's range of that? 60 feet. Yep. Um, so this is for Spill Bonk. Spill more drink down me. I don't know why it did that <laughs> on that horrible dice, but there we go. What is what is <laughs> the... Oh, so it's just 1d4, is it? Yeah. Plus three. So you got 1D4 four plus healing. Three. So, oh, he hasn't been horrendous. Healed four. Yeah. Um, and that um, was a uh, my bonus, so I can't really do much. I don't you want to hit him. still have an action. I don't want to hit him. Okay. Um, so I'm going to watch him eat. Okay, cool. <laughs> I can't talk to him either, so. Uh, Martha is going to um, yell out at him, Eat well, you bastard! As she goes back into hiding. Bonk! Oh my One second, on. I'm having to Google something. <laughs> Come on, Bonk. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Right, so I don't need to change anything. So, okay. Bonk's going to slowly turn around with an arrow shaft sticking out of his bloody back. And his calf. He's gonna, and his calf, both calves. He's gonna let his great axe, the head of the great axe, drop against the floor. He's gonna reach to his thigh, pull free a hand axe, and he is going to pelt that at Renestra. Go for it. What? Oh, what? Man, I need, I need to equip it first. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and because I have proficiency with it, I can throw it like a normal weapon. This took a turn. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Renestra, he rolled a 25. I assume that hits. Of course it hits. Yep, yeah, roll for damage. And then plus two, because raging. <laughs> That's 12 <laughs> slashing <laughs> damage. 12? 12. You don't know who hit me! Hit me in the front if you hit me! And you then... just did more damage to me than I did to you, you dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I like to win. And now with his second... No. Mm -hmm. Does Bonk want to attack the giant? He needs to decide very quickly. He's raging. Who cares? Yeah, he's going to attack the giant as well. Go for it. And then plus two, so that'll be... 13. 13. Oh, I will actually need to move a little bit closer as well. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's Renestra's turn now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Civil War's broken out. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot at the freaking hey, hey. giant because... Oh, my God. Yes, <laughs> freak you, Bonk! Nineteen. Uh, nineteen at the the giant. Yep. Nineteen at the giant hits. Twelve. Uh, twelve damage. Uh, sure. Yep. Shoot one more time at the giant because I'm not evil and I'm not gonna shoot at my teammates. Yep, 19 hits. Oh, very 18. Nice. 18, nice. And that's the end of my round. Uh, I... Thank you. So I'm just doing some quick math. Uh, it is then Namrock's turn. What the heck? Right, I'll say it again. I don't think this giant's our enemy. I don't think he's our enemy. Well, we've got to kill him now. <laughs> You're all attacking nom, each nom, other. Nom, nom, nom. Right, I'm gonna move here and go for an attack with my short sword. Go for it. Oh, come on, 
Come on, right. <laughs> You've got this. I think I think that's a hit, right? Yes. Yes. Right, there we go. There's six, and then a sneak attack on top of that. Here it comes. Coming at you like Cleopatra. Seven and eight. That's 15. Uh, do okay. I get the, the bonus from the spell uh, that the cantrip had, uh, had on me? That's only to that just hit, I think. Okay, that's fine. I th think so. If you'd have missed, you could have then rolled to then hit. That's fine. Okay. So yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing we're doing 15 damage, please. Yep. Um, and then I will... Uh... Ow! Why are you I can... hurt? I can... can I disengage here as well? Bonus action. Yes. Yeah. Uh, just one step back, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, as much as movement you have left. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Yeah, so I was... Uh... Oh, actually, no. That's a, that's a no. So I think you only moved like 10, 15 feet round. So you still got, you still got another sort of ten, fifteen feet, feet left. Okay, I just, I just, I just step back. Yep, just so I'm completely fine. Mm -hmm. Me not happy. As he sort of moves away from his food, takes a swing at Bonk with his great club. Uh, 26. <laughs> yep, my tail's not even worth it. Yep, go on. And that's 20 bludgeoning damage. All right, we're 10, thankfully. He then swings at you again. Of course he does. Uh, Multi-attack. Yep. That's 17. All right, so that'll be 9. You know. The 17 hit. Oh, I thought that was the damage. Uh, so, no, oh, no, no. Right. Uh, yeah, no, I had a brain fart. One second. Right. I'll use my tail. Come on, tail. Come on, tail. Oh, I got a 16. Yeah, that hits. He's coming at you like Cleopatra. <laughs> a 16 <laughs> bludgeoning damage. Jesus Christ. Eight damage. Are we, are we good, Bonk? Are we... Leave As he roars in your face. Dahlia. Um, I would like to cast... Um, I had it and now I've lost it. Oh, um, Cure Wounds on, um... I've forgotten Rebel's name next to me because it's touch. Instantaneous. Um, if that's okay. Don't so, ask, you can just tell. Your, yeah. just your decision. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm the worst healer in the world. Hey, don't worry, I'm the worst rogue. <laughs> so, that's. Do I have to roll for the effect? No, that's it. You've just touched her and healed her four. Oh, okay. I touched you. Um, that was my action. <laughs> I'm running out of things for bonuses. <laughs> and that's it. I'm just going to keep watching you all that hurt yourselves. <laughs> uh, Martha's just going to... Scream more obscenities at the giant while still being hidden in the tree line. She is bloody Martha. The only reason we're bloody here. <laughs> All right, Bonk is not looking good. He's beaten, he's battered, he has multiple arrows sticking out of him, even though no enemies have used bow and arrows yet. Um, he's like, his great axe is hanging down on the floor. He's only able to hold it up with one arm at the moment. One of his arms has kind of gone limp. And he starts shuffling around the giant, not out of his range, so not provoking an attack, just shuffling around. I mean, you could just disengage. I could, you're correct. However, Bonk is going to let his great axe drop to the floor, completely unarming himself, and he's going to hold one arm up with his palm facing the giant, almost like a surrender, and he's going to say, 
in Giant. You clearly don't want to attack us. Why are you picking on the village? Okay. And it's going to hope that he can stop combat or just receive a death blow, probably. As it's Renestra's turn. Uh, okay. Did I just, uh, did I just hear Math I, Man go live? Through someone's. <laughs> <laughs> just no? in the heat of combat, I hear a good evening! Why? Uh, I will. Uh, okay. I'll change that. Uh, Bloody Math Man. Yes. By the way, guys, if you're not following I, Math I Man, go I, follow Math Man. Uh, I will move closer to Bonk. And yep. I will use uh, my second level pure wounds on him. But, 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 is he not live? What? No, oh, he's nice. not even live. I heard it as well, but no, he's not live. Um, how much, what did you roll? That's 11, so that's 11 cure oh. wounds on Bonk. Yes. Oh, oh, thank God, all is forgiven. <laughs> uh, okay. That's that one. And I still should... No. Do I have another action? I don't have another action, right? Uh, uh, you might have a bonus action. No, that will be all that I will do this. Uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Namrock. Um. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna. I'm. Ooh, I'm just gonna wait. I want to see what happens with the bonk sitch. So I'm just going to move <laughs> here. Just in case. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna stay where I was. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait <laughs> to see what happens with the bonk sitch. Okay, that's that's me done. Awesome. You no threat. Me go eat. As he turns around and and starts munching away on some food. By the way, each time that you, you see him munching, it's almost he's as if health. he's regaining health. Yep, yep, yep. Knew that. I saw that coming. Oh, God. So if he's not attacking and all of us as players agree to not attack, can we end combat? Uh, you can skip your turn. Um, I would skip my turn. Okay. Uh, Martha is going to shout obscenities. Shut up, Martha. As... <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> Bonk, it's your turn. Right. Bonk lets oh, out a, a horrific sigh. He doesn't have his great axe anymore. However, he does still have another hand axe. So he's going to grab that. He's going to turn around. He's going to scream in common. Shut the fuck up. And he's going to throw his hand axe at Martha. Sure, you... go for it. Okay. What you, hit, you hit her. <laughs> Bus two is still raging. Cool. Uh, well, that's Martha dead. What? <laughs> Finally! <laughs> He's gonna turn back to the giant. Now can we talk? You know you can kill us. In giant, of course. Thank you. It's now Renestra's turn. I'm not sure how we're gonna explain <laughs> this to her husband. Um oh, Sorin. But uh... I'm sure he's got a sack ready for her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Um, okay. Uh, I'm just, I, I'm just gonna stand back and watch what is gonna happen because I'm, I'm just gonna move out of the way a little bit and uh, yep. I'm skipping my turn. Awesome, thank you. Lamrock. Um, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move back. Just to try and disengage as much as possible. Um, yeah, that's me done. Yep. Ha! <laughs> you little creature. As he swings his great club at Bonk. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, 15. Uh, oh, I might actually be able to do something about that. Or not. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> uh, nine bludgeoning damage. So okay, five. five. I can I can deal with that. That's five. That's cause that's cool. That's cool. And as he swings on the return stroke, where is that innocent? He hits for twenty six. Holy fuck! And does nine bludgeoning damage again. That's another five. I'm still in the game, boys. I'm still here. Um, as again, he roars at you. Leave me alone to eat. Dahlia. I'm going to cast Healing Word on Bonk. <laughs> the range is 60 foot, so it's fine. Yep. Uh, a creature of your choice that you can see within range regains hit points equal to 1d4. Plus your spellcasting ability modifier. Yep. Um, you get you this. Alright. Big, uh, big money. No, I don't know why it rolled free, but what? there you go. Oh, because you cast it at third level. You cast it at a higher level. So oh, there you fall. go. That's why. Perfect. There you go. Bob gets 13 health back. And... Uh, just the end of my turn again. Be like, can we just leave this guy alone? He wants to be left alone while he's eating. <laughs> uh, bonk, if it's your turn. Uh, oh god. <laughs> so Bonk is still unarmed. He's dropped his battle axe. For <laughs> sake, sorry, I'm reading chat. <laughs> um. Ah. Uh. Bonk is going to take an action disengage just to back out of his range a little bit. I imagine he has enhanced range because that's a fucking tree. <laughs> um, and once again, he's going to... Leo, you're making this so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to speak again in giant, almost in a pleading tone. We're not going to attack. We're done. We just want to know why you're throwing boulders at the village and then we'll leave. And then he's going to point at Marsha's, uh, Marsha? Martha's body and be like, Look! Peace offering! Throw rock as hungry want food. You know, guys, he has sound logic. I can't argue with that. <laughs> Renestra. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm just gonna skip. <laughs> <laughs> because I have nothing. Like, we... I think we could go back to the village and just slaughter everyone wow. there and just call it a day. Wow. It would be easier. No, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm just ending my turn. Thank you. Namrock. I mean, you, uh, you you can hear what Renestra's just said. Yeah, do with that as, as you want. Right, if we go back to village, let me do the talking, all right? Let me do it. No one else. I'll do talking. We'll go back. Say the giant's gone. We say Martha got hit by a giant. Job done. Everyone agree? Fantastic. Let's go. Um, done. Qu question to the group, then. Are you all now agreeing to kind of head back to the village 
Uh, yeah, we're level five. We can't take this shit. <laughs> <laughs> is, is anybody disagreeing to this? You suck. Fantastic. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm not hearing any disagreement. Okay. Uh, bear with me two seconds. I was not expecting this. <laughs> yeah, this is what you get for inviting me to D&D, Ashley. As you guys head back into the hamlet. Oh, no. <laughs> also, for context, uh, even though Bonk is... Uh, actually, no, no, Bonk left the body there. He did not bring Martha back with us. <laughs> Changed my mind. That wouldn't have been. That would have been an even worse look because they would have seen that it was an axe wound, not a giant wound. Uh, I did, however, grab second. my hand axes back. Right. Ash so was not prepared for this. Back in the village. As as Namrock, I take it you've got to speak to Sorin. Ah, uh, yes, I would like to go and do some deception with Sorin, please. <laughs> I'm going as as the the priest priestiness. Cool, you go in and Sorin is is where you left him. He's round his cooking pot, uh make still still cooking some soup. See you guys and he's like, Oh, welcome back guys. How's how's it going? I've I've got another sack of food here for you, Namrock. As he passes you oh, his sack oh, again. Shit. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I, I found some more food for you. I spoke to the other villagers. Is, will this will this help as he passes you another sack of food? Hey, up, sorry. Th yeah, that's great. Thank, thanks for that. That's fantastic. We've um, we've dropped off the other food up with the uh, the giant, and Martha's decided to stay up there just to keep watch. So oh, I hope we're... she's okay. Oh, she's she's doing really well. She's doing really well. She's oh. she's having the, the time of her life up there. She's she's really enjoying herself. So um, we Is should she, take. Are you other sure sack she'll be food. safe with that giant? She's she's hidden. We we hid her in bush close by, so they won't find her. Don't worry about that. That's fine. So we'll take this sack and just yeah, the giant's all done, and Martha says she'll be home for tea. So that, that oh, should be that, well, right? Thank you, adventurers. I tell you what. I did some digging as well, and I found two of these little health potions. But sorting out our problem, I'm more Give than me. happy to give these to you. Give me! As, as he give gives me. the two... Bonk takes the two health potions out of his hand. And he chugs both of them at that instant. Uh, okay, take uh, 2d6 health. I will take it. That doesn't seem worth it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on a second. I just need to roll a dice myself. Hang on. Okay, cool. Thank you. Carry on. As you were. Uh, so, yeah. So, Namrock takes the other sack of food and then uh, goes to, to leave after... After having deceived Sorin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel so I, bad. I don't <laughs> even know what to say. Um, will you guys stay for some soup, seeing as you've saved our village? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm that's... starving. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Thank, starts, Thank you, Bob. Cheers. As he starts ladling up some soup into little bowls and handing it out to you guys. Bonk we, seems we should... none the wiser that he's just absolutely slaughtered his wife. <laughs> he seems none the wiser. He, he's acting like nothing's happened. He's just happily sitting there. No, we, we don't want a bit burdened, so it's probably best we just leave and be on our way. We're, we're, we're on a really important quest ourselves at the moment, so we, Are we? We'll, we'll probably be best. That's the reason I had you, Bonk, not, not to do what we're doing now. You're, you're meant to be protecting I, me on I, I just on thought you liked me, so you wanted to pay to have me around, because I'm cool. Off in the distance, no, sorry. there is sorry, a roar God. from oh, the giant. Oh, yeah. And no. Sorin looks up at you, confused. But you said... <laughs> you, you said the giant was killed. Why is, no, why is no, he still what? roaring? <laughs> What I said was the giant was eating the food and we had just kind of he was gonna go and such. So 
Where's but... where's where's he's now very he's now very anxious and uppity. Where's Martha? And he's now taking a few step, steps back. Can you, can you, can you roll a deception for me? Bonk yeah. discreetly wraps his hand around one of his hand axes. Gosh, no. Please, please. <laughs> All right. He's put, he's put, his mind is put at ease a little bit, <laughs> but he's still very cautious. Bonk, let's go of the hand axe. <laughs> Um, so we'll, we'll go take a look at that giant now then and see, see what's going on. And I'll tell Martha to make her way home for you. Okay. Thank, thank you. Are you guys now leaving uh, the shack? Yes. I, I, quickly. I, I think it's probably <laughs> as, as we leave, Bonk kind of whispers to the others. Hey, I just thought, why didn't we just poison the food? And kill the giant like that. Do you know any poison? Like, I'm not the skilled one. I am the smart one. <laughs> As you uh, hear from I, inside I the shack, Soren go, Hur hurry back! Yo, know, go, go <laughs> kill the giant! I believe in you. God. I feel like we're gonna have to take him out too. <laughs> Punk once again grips his hand axe, kind of points at it, and then looks at the door as like as if wordlessly questioning, "Should I go back in?" Put it down, lad. Don't worry. Put it down. Put it down. He lo he looks very upset as he resheaths his axe. Uh, I think we I think we need to go find uh, ourselves a giant, right? And have a a proper proper full frontal attack this time, rather than. Uh... <laughs> Just letting Bonk run at it. <laughs> is it is, um, can I? Are you okay, R Rinestra, or are you reversing? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm down with like full on uh, village murder. I don't. I'm okay. I, th I, th I think she remember the fact that there was some beeping in the background. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, that's outside. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so can I ask, are you actively in the middle of this tiny little hamlet openly discussing murdering everybody? No. No. Does that sound like what Renesha just said? Wow, and I thought Bonk was the simple one. <laughs> I I, I I personally feel we should we should attack the the giant. <laughs> then why um, the fuck we I came here back? We got a health because, potion. I mean, in so, all honesty, I thought there was another something bigger than the giant. Because I will be honest with you, you 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 Nami have an important quest. You are looking for something, something I do not know of and I do not care about, but that's why I'm here. If yes. we go back to the giant, as much as I love the idea of death by thrilling combat, he will both literally and figuratively shit on us. So what if we just slip past the giant, carry on as we were, go find the artifact we need, and let, let, let the hamlet be a hamlet, and we just move on? And just pretend <laughs> that this incident never occurred. I like that idea. And maybe one day in the future, when we have a few more levels, we'll come back here and we'll kill that <laughs> bastard. I mean, I think we can get, take the giant. He's... Unless we, could... we let him eat, then, you know, we should be fine. Unless you're willing to have a long rest, there's not much more I can do for you guys if you get in trouble. How how long is a long rest, please? Eight hours. How uh, long is a I short would, rest an hour. An hour. I would say at this point, you could short rest, you can't long rest. Okay. Short rest won't uh, do anything for me. Which short rest won't do anything for me? I've um... got uh, no spell slots. Well, I've got one, two. I've got a big one and one level three and one level one. 
Can you attack without? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Don't expect much. <laughs> right. Option one, final stand. We take the giant. Option two, we do not take the giant and we carry on. What does everyone feel? Let's kill it. One for I kill. want a, I want a nap. I'm tired. Right. <laughs> one for two. All right. Are we thinking about uh, short rest? Vanessa, we're not thinking about killing the village. We're talking about the giant now. I was asking if we were <laughs> taking a short rest. <laughs> I know. Uh, we, we could take a short rest. Yes, I think then... Bog could probably benefit from having some of his health back. Yeah, okay. So let's short rest and then we go for the giant. Sure. Everyone agree or people disagree? Let's rest for an hour and then let's let's uh, crack on. Okay. I better get paid for this. You're, <laughs> you'll be Let's take paid. a short rest. <laughs> okay. Okay. As you set up and um, sit down, gather your things, and take a little short rest. Uh. I mean. I'm I'm good for health, so I don't need to to roll or anything. I don't think I had to. I ain't rolled. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. I'm so sorry if you can hear the beeping in the background. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. If you it's guys let me know once you've finished having your short rest. <laughs> Well, I'm done. Yeah, same. Same. Yep, good. Awesome, so what's the plan? So we're going to head back to the Giants, I believe. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, Apparently okay. Apparently so. Right. Let's, let's head back to the Giant then. What <laughs> I... Yeah, I'm let's just take, make sure. I'm gonna, I've got a different game plan this time. It's okay, I'll be self-sufficient. Okay. Right, going back to the giant, going back to the giant, oh my god. Let's He's hope he die. has not healed up. Oh, he has. He's going to be full health. 100% he's going to be full health. Let's stood that body on the floor. Wait, I'm going to go to... Can I go to the body and say a little prayer? I thought you were just going like, to kick it in the bushes. I say a little prayer, then, then uh, you know, you're at peace now, and just get my foot and casually sideswipe it into the ditch. <laughs> That's my <How> respectful. <laughs> no, no one needs to know of what happened. <laughs> Can you put her into the ditch, please, DM? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> she's just huh. rolled down there, and she's gone now. Uh, I don't see him. I mean, he's in the middle of the road there. He's gone back I to don't sleep. See the, uh, oh, he's gone back to sleep. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. If that's the case... Okay, if we're going to do this, we all need to get a fatal blow at the same time. <laughs> Just hit him really, really, really hard at the same time. Really hard. I mean, I have a flaming spear I could cast. Ooh, Sounds delicious. Fire. But I need to be a bit closer. Right. Um... Oh, no, I could actually do it from here. Right. I can only do 25 uh... feet run, so I might want to get a little bit closer. Right. Uh, Bonk's not going to like having to do this. Bonk turns to our lovely cleric. <laughs> And he says, I, I I, need to sneak by where his head is, but I'm not very sneaky. Can you help? I can give you guidance. Yes, please. Okay, I cast guidance on you. Ooh, tingly. And Oof. now Bonk is going to try and stealth past the giant. Perfect, roll stealth. So, stealth plus a d4. 
Divine intervention. Long rest. Still hits a ten. Um. Cool. Yep. Um. Where are oh. you heading on going up? Uh, up towards where Namrock stealthed last time. Up, round the hedge and by his head. Yeah, you just make that. And I reckon I will stay just there, hidden behind the bush, ready. Okay. Uh, Onk's kind of uh, in position. Do you need some guidance, Namrock? I mean, if you can, if you could throw it, every, every little bit helps, right? I can. I don't see why I can't buff you. It's a. It's a. Uh, so you can continuously use it, but it can only be active on one person at a time. Oh, so never mind then. Because no, that doesn't. Bring no, because oh. Bonk's already Bonk's already used his stealth to get past. It's fine. Right. It's just sitting in place now. Then I can grant you guidance. Fantastic. Uh, thanks. Um, I I don't know where the the tile. Do we need the giant tile, or will that only come out when combat starts? That only come out with, with combat. He's just there in the road. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to get... Um, da, 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 da. I'm going to I'm going to sneak around this way. Like uh, right did you ro did you roll a stealth? I'm just just about to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't forget the D4 as well because you've got guys. No, you, do, yeah, do you, you know what, Namrock? What? Roll your stealth Sorry. with advantage, and Ooh. thank Hidden Titan for that and math. And I will have to stop in a Hang minute on. to do it to do a spicy bean. Hang on. So when you say with advantage, what do you mean there, sorry? Uh just just roll it twice and we'll take the highest one. Oh, okay. Whoa! Awesome. Um so your stealth works. You're super stealthy. I think that's the first time you've rolled that hey. high. Yeah, that's, a, hey, that's that. the first good roll. Right, so I am in position, ready for a uh, stealth attack from the, the trees. I'm going to position myself here, already, with my fiery hand. And I'm also going to... Oh. This feels tactical. I feel like we got this, guys. I feel like we got this. Poor Ashley. Don't jinx it's because I'm distracted at the minute, so I'm yeah. just getting away with whatever you like. Ash is about to die. It's okay, and it's not the worst. All of them are bad for me. <laughs> I wouldn't be able <laughs> to take any. Thank you very much, and thank you very much, Matt. Who who do I owe the assist to in chat? Well, Titan and Matt. Fuck me. Thank you, Titan. Thank you, Mathman. And thank you, fuck me. <laughs> okay. Uh, are the girls staying back? Are they? Yes. I'm gonna. Right. I think I could do that. Do you have a level two spell slot still, Pim? Nope. Oh, level three? Yes. Oh. What are your level three spells? I was going to cast Flaming Sphere. Because you can are. I, you can should I just, be out just, there. just being very picky here? You're very far away from each other to be having a discussion without waking up the giant. Oh. So That's because I'm talking here. out of. That's because I'm talking out of character about mechanics, whether she has spell slots left or not. Yeah, but yeah. your character wouldn't know that, or how much she would, how much magic she has left without talking to her. So, no, fair enough. That's still technically in-game knowledge. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Right, I'm, I'm spicy beans. I'm feeling spicy. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the attack. Go for it. Are you, uh, so, uh, are you guys all attacking at once as a surprise hey, attack? Can, can, yeah, can yeah. we do a simultaneous attack? I'll let you guys all uh, attack first, yep. Cool. <laughs> Alright, in which case, uh, let me just quickly double read this to make sure I'm not reading it wrong. Limited use. No, it's not limited use. Not reaction. Other? No, it's not other. Where is it? I read it a minute ago. I can't find it. There was a long jump option, but I can't find it. If I can get you guys all to roll your initiative anyway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's repeating on me now. Thank you, Titan. Uh, 
Fantastic. Uh, we will go through the initiative, but we'll miss out Sleepy Giant for, for this first round. Okay. So, if I, I'm going to go in and go for my attack. Uh, Renestra will go first, if she's got the highest initiative. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, and I'm doing the same too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, so, it's, it's all the same, except it's just a surprise round. So, 13 hits. Right. Uh, is he full health? He's he's not. You should be able to hover over him and see what he is. Okay, no, he's barely injured because previously he, he didn't say. Um, so, it's... 11? Or... No, it's 16, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll take the 16, yep. Actually, that's a good point. Should we have advantage as he's still asleep? He's not moving. Uh, he's yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Do I need to do anything differently? <laughs> no, no, because no, your right, first attack it, hit. So you get to oh, have your okay. second attack now. But you can just oh, do it shit. with advantage. Um, that's 14. Uh, 14 hits. And that's a 17. 17, nice. Uh, quick maths. Awesome. Uh, so then it goes to Bonk. I'll just skip his turn. Right. Uh, Bonk is going to run as... Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, crap. Oh, I can just reach... Because I am severely disabled. <laughs> but seriously, both my legs don't work properly. People, pe people destroyed my legs. So I'm gonna run, <laughs> gonna jump, and try to bring my axe down. Oh, I can't. Can you move me over towards his head? Because I'm trying to jump over the wall. Or do you want me to roll for it? No, that's that's fine. Because you you set yourself up. Yep, cool. And I want to try and bring my battle axe down right into his eyelid to try and take out one of his eyes. You're going to go try and blind him. Nice. Roll, roll with yep. advantage. I don't need advantage. got 17. Yep. Hit. Oh, I forgot to rage before. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, all right. He's now got disadvantage on all these future attacks because he's now got one right. eye. And with my bonus action, I should have done this beforehand, but it's fine. I am going to use my last rage, and instead of growing a tail, I am going to grow massive carnivorous teeth. Fuck. Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I will be back in one second. Sorry. I'm just going to step out of um, the game for a second. Mads! Mads, what are you doing? Bloody hell, Mads. Um, okay, thank you. I assume you'd like two spicy beans. Um, <laughs> all right, let's give you your first bean. Damn, Mads. Um, all right, Mads. Um, you, Mads, in fact, Titan and Mads. Ah, uh, fucking habanero. Um, give me an impact on the game that you would like. Um, nothing too drastic. Can be good or bad. Um, to aid or to disadvantage. I'll, I'll, I'll allow both. Fucking habanero. Fucking, it's gonna... Fucking. Do you want a good thing to happen? Do you want to heal somebody? Do you want to... Give somebody disadvantage for a couple of rounds. What? Auto crit with Namrock speak attack this round. Okay, fine. And give Bonk a third, a third leg. <laughs> it's the habanero. Um, Titan. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to appreciate this. Mads, what would you like to happen? Can be good. Fuck. Good or bad? Are 
Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, that hit me. Uh, I just oh, had a drink. Hello, I'm really. back. Hello. Hello, um, back. I'm Rebel. <laughs> right, so that was the end of Bonk's turn. So we go to, to Dahlia. Um, I'm going to cast... Oh, are you ready? Mm. I'm going to cast my level three... <laughs> Scorching Ray. Did I hear a child then? Where'd that come from? Yeah, <laughs> she's next Bambi. to me. Um, if that's okay. That's my um, three bolts yep. uh, of fire damage. Yeah, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Right, okay. This is the roll if it hits. Nice. First one hits. This is the damage for that one. Nice. Yeah, if you're yeah, casting it at a third level, how many bolts do you get? Three. They're just extra damage, are they? Or You create three rays of fire and hurl them at targets within range. Uh, which was this? What spell was this, sorry? This is Scorching Ray. You can Scorching hold them at one target or several. Make a ranged spell attack for each ray. I don't even see that under your spells under third level. Yeah, it's there. Third level, Scorching Ray, prayer of under prayer of healing. Um, the third from the bottom. There we go. When you cast this spell using a spell slot of third level or higher, you create one additional ray for each spell slot above second. So I'm actually casting four. You're actually casting four. <laughs> Absolute that was legend. One. <laughs> that Absolute was one. legend. Are you ready Are you, for two? You can, you can thank Titan for that. Thanks, Titan. Love you. Uh, Are you ready yep, for number go. two? Yep. Yep, that hits. Eight damage, thank you. This is number three. What does that mean? I got a B. Which yes. mean you got a B? Oh, that's what it says on my screen. It's a twenty. That's a twenty. So you now roll critical damage. How do yes. I do? I have to do anything extra for that? Um, if it doesn't give you the option, just roll and we'll double it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that six fire what? damage. That was awful. Okay, so this is the last bolt, okay? Yep. I am back, apologies. Uh, and 17 damage, hits. Did it hit? Yeah, and the damage? There you go, so you I'm did, done. You did, you did quite good damage on all of them, except the one you got to crit. Of course! <laughs> uh, by the way, um... Bonk, you now have a third leg. Oh, excuse me. Uh, excuse you. Don't ask. You now have a third leg. You can thank Mads for that. So you have all your movement speed back. Oh. Um, and I'm, Namrock, oh. if if you manage to hit this turn, regardless of what it is, you get crit damage. Yes. And you can thank Titan for that. I love thank Titan. Titan. I don't know how this works, but I am digging it. Uh, I, so I don't either. People are just bullying me to do these things. Can you can you move me up to the giant, or do I just stay here? Is that you could you're you're in contact with the giant? Let's just say that. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so I will do Actually, my. Actually, let's um, put you go there and you there. There we go. Uh, I'll be doing my short sword and also my sneak attack. Oh God! Critical sneak attack. Here we go. Right. So we need to make sure I hit first, right? Yes, you need to actually hit first. 
Right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Only me, though. <laughs> you kept this. Yes. Yes. We're in business. Cool. Let's do this. Uh, and either roll crit or just roll normal and we'll double it. Can I roll advantage on that? You can't do advantage on damage. Ah, come on, guy. <laughs> but don't you have to roll for sneak as well. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So uh, four and eight is 12. Jeez, that's 12, so that's 24. 24. Yep. And I would uh, also like to just jump back one if possible, please. You can disengage and jump back one. That's not a problem at all. Fantastic. If I just put myself like here, is that okay where I am? Yeah, yeah. Go for, go for it. Can you not do it or? No, no, no. Oh, it says there's a movement wall. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah, because of the giant. Perfect. You done? I am done. Cool. Uh, so he is now up and. As he's now. As he's now frantically swinging around. Um, and it's Renestra, it's your turn. Uh, I'm just going to aim and shoot at him with my longbow. Yes. What could go wrong? Oh, I, I know what could go says. wrong. You bloody at me. <laughs> you do miss, but you don't hit anyone else. Oh, thank God. Cool. <laughs> and I'm going to shoot another uh, uh, one more time. Yep. That's. That, and you hit. That hit, right? Cool. Absolute legend. Oh, very nice. 18, 18 damage. Nice. That's it. Yeah, he's nice, badly injured. Giant's turn. And he is going to pick up a rock from the floor. Oh, God. And he's going to hurl it at Renestra. Because... Hey. Ow. You hurt. I mean, I didn't take out your eye. I am offended. It's all right, because he only rolled a 12. No, oh, that doesn't hit. Oh, that still would have hit me. Bonk. Right, so he's standing up now. Oh, he's standing up. There is no way I can reach his head. Uh, and it's a shame that uh, Namrock moved away, otherwise you could have flanked him. point actually yeah um <laughs> da, 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 da. so i'm still at full health so i don't even need to bite him so i'm just gonna do what i do and swing to win yep you do that while i have a habanero beam yeah <laughs> <laughs> what did uh, you roll that's nice uh i got a oh, i've taken ages for it to catch up on the tabletop thing. I got 17 for attack and yep. 12 for damage. 12 for damage? Yes. Okay. And then go for my next swing, which is 22. And the damage is 10, I think. Yeah, damage is 10. Uh, what was the hit, sorry? Uh, 22. Oh boy. Near death. It's near death. <laughs> I think Ash is near death too. I think he is. <laughs> is that bonk done? Yeah, that's bonk done. I'm um, sorry for my question while you're eating. So I have no more. Well, I have one spell slot left for a level one. But if I click on action, I can use all of these and not use a spell slot, right? Uh, depends what it is. Yeah, it depends. So if it's a spell, it will use a spell slot. Unless it's obviously a cantrip. Right. I'm not... Although, um, hang on. I don't know if this is a Baldur's Gate free only thing, but do clerics get... Because I've got, like, Guiding Bolt that's on my actions, but... How many, how many, second, level, how many second level spell slots have you got? None. No, but how many do you have? Eternal Divinity, you do. Um, They're used, but how many of them do you have? Three. 
Cool. You've got all three back. What? Thanks, Mads. Thanks, Mads! Love you! <laughs> you now have oh all of your God. second level spell slots back. you got oh love God. chat, right? you got oh love my chat. God. Oh, I'd like to cast Scorching Ray at level two. <laughs> Go for it. Hold on. That's for the hit. Uh, 19 hits. That's ray That's number one. Seven fire damage, yep. That was ray number one. Yep. yep. You ready? Here comes number two. Oh, no. Misses. No. Oh, and here comes number four. My mouth is so on fire <laughs> right now. <laughs> Yes. That's funny. Oh, really? A crit? <laughs> Love you, Matt. <laughs> and then here's the damage from my crit. Oh, will you double up? That's 20 yeah, fire did. damage. Yeah, he did. Oh, yes. Woohoo! Uh -huh. Um, that's it, isn't it? Yes. Awesome, so he's, yeah. Oh, fire hurts! Fire hurts my mouth, I'll tell you that. It was oh. at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I think he does. Three, four, five. Can you put me diagonally bottom right to bonk, please? Oh, interesting, why are you going there? Oh, I need to be next to someone to do stealth. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack this mother trucker for the final time, hopefully. You watch him miss everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I think, no, no, I think you, got you got it. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Yes, 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 yep. Yes. Yes. Uh, 14 plus the 7, that's 21. I was just about to say, where the fuck do all those nice. die come from? Oh yeah, sneak. Yep. Anything uh, else? No, that, I'll stay here just in case for the, for the, for the flank, I guess. Yes, actually, that can still work. If Renestra doesn't absolutely obliterate him now. <laughs> or us. Or us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Please, the giant I... needs all the help he can get. I will ignore that comment. <laughs> hey, Bonk, Bonk was ready to switch sides, but the giant didn't want to talk to him. Bonk was 100% I... ready. <laughs> I'm going to aim at the giant, and I'm going to shoot my longbow. That's a... Scene. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. That's 13. Renestra? Yep. Yep. Tell me a story. Yes! <laughs> Renestra. Make, make it a big one. Renestra takes a deep breath. She pulls back her arrow on her bow. She looks down, bow, um, the arrow. She, she just looks, stares at the giant. She releases the, um, the arrow and yells, Go the fuck to sleep! <laughs> and that's it. Loosing the bow, aiming straight for the giant. It impales through his nostril into the back of the brain, killing him on the spot as he falls down on top of Bonk. <laughs> oh, no. Motherfucker. You know what? Can, you <laughs> can, I, can I drop my axe and try and push against him? I want to see um, if I can actually catch him. No, you won't catch him. But you can take three bludgeoning damage. No, I'll take two, because I'm still raging. <laughs> In fact, I'm especially raging now. <laughs> As the, uh, yeah, the giant falls down dead. Does 
somebody want to help me out here? Please? <laughs> Can I just leave him there? <laughs> That's I can still throw my axe from here. You're you're no, able you to you're able to wriggle yourself out. It's fine. He does the little, I just, little I just shimmy to get himself out. You, you, you can't. Hang on, let me help. There, there we go. Oh well, that 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 was an adventure. Um, I have an idea. Bonk is gonna grab Martha's body. It's in the ditch. Yep. He's gonna drag it out of the ditch. He's gonna drag it over to the giant, and he's gonna and try very, very hard to lift the giant's head up and kind of roll her underneath the giant. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. Splendid. <laughs> <laughs> Right, can we? Is there, is there any loot on the giant? I mean, where no. Are you, where are you gonna check his belly button? <laughs> <laughs> his belly pouch? The fucking kangaroo? <laughs> no, he had no loot on him. Um, oh, this feels like a wasted kill. Right, no, but, it's but, absolutely uh, not. He <laughs> has now soiled himself, though. Oh, I'm going back. No. It's fine, it's fine, <laughs> don't worry. Bonk can get us all loot. The best loot we can possibly get. So, Bonk's going to take his axe, he's going to grab hold of a giant toe, and he's just going to start hacking the toe off. That's really funny. I can't see what you're doing yep. there. And the then once he's done, he's going to take out his rope, and he is going to make four necklaces out of the rope and severed toes. Okay, sure. Ooh. And he's going to make his way back over to the group, and he's going to offer each of them a giant's toe on it. Piece of rope kind of, as a as a trophy. I take it with my my finger and thumb and uh, <laughs> giant <laughs> toe beams. Yeah, Thanks. he's just gonna go to each people, each people, each person, and give them a severed toe. Uh, I think this needs a proper wash before, but okay. Nah, that's what gives it the luck. Ta, ta very much there, lad. Thank you for that. I, I don't know what to do with it, but thank you. <laughs> You wear it. It'll get. I don't know why he's gone Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's that giant's tour. <laughs> it's changed me. <laughs> I mean, now you have three legs, so you, that know, is a you good don't point. know the the third leg could be Scottish. <laughs> I am now a tripod. Oh no, no, his third legs. His third legs American. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever happened to Barry? Yeah, what? Oh, yeah. You're, you're, you're bunny. Uh, <laughs> I think you're Barry bunny has apparently crushed. just been on my shoulder this entire time. Oh, no, he'd have fallen oh, he off would... ages ago. Yeah. You just didn't realise he fell off. Yeah, that was probably before we even started the giant fight in the first yeah. place. So, he's going to look around for Barry. See if he's still in the area. Are you, uh, are you going to report back to Sorin? I want my loot, let's go. We probably should. Alright, let's pop back down. What do Jersey you really think they have then? anything? I want a chicken. To replace Barry. No one will ever replace Barry. For bulk. Right, do we, do we want me to do the deception again? Oh, you know what, actually? Just before we left, he cut off a fifth toe as well. Okay, fine. Yeah, now I know what you're doing with that. Oh boy. I've got to stop doing it block by block. I'm annoying myself. Uh, well, it, it's best to do that when you're in, like, caverns and caves. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah no, when I'm in small areas, trigger. yeah. So Soren welcomes you in. Hi, guys. It's not how he talks, but you know what I mean. Um, no. Onk. How's it's not it, gonna mince words. How's it going up there? He's just gonna shove the toe in his face. Oh! Oh my! What's this? Giant yeah. toe! Oh. oh! I mean, I'll see if I can cook that up in a good stew. Does, oh, does, hey. does this mean what I think it means? Yep, sorry. Yes! I'm, the is, giant is, landed on Martha. The, 
<laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, she, that, uh... that, that was supposed to be my inside head, in my inside voice. Sorry. Where, yes. Wait, wait, where, where is Martha? What? What's Martha's, wrong with the giant? Um, Martha is in the light now. <laughs> what what do you specifically, mean? More specifically, under a giant's head. Uh, makes sense! Where is Martha? Squished. She is now your flatmate. You were supposed to protect her! No! As he, as he we were supposed his, to kill the giant. His, his cooking, his chef's nice, he brandishes it at you. You you were supposed to protect her! She, she was relying on you! Bonk just sighs, pulls free both hand axes that are resting on both fires and just kind of nonchalantly spins them around on his hand. No, little man. No, no. We killed Giant. What, what am I gonna do? As he, as he drops the knife and drops down to his knees, breaks down and, and starts sobbing endlessly into his hands. Well, that was for my a start, wife. for a start, there's now only one of you, so you don't need so many chickens. Renestra, chicken, all yours. As he just sits there sobbing on the floor. All in a day's work. He walks up to him, gives him a little pat and just strides out. Yeah. I, I also walk up to him and pat, pat, there, there, and just leave. Here, little chicky. Cluck, cluck. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, we did a good thing lost. today. We did a very good thing today. Namrock, you wanna what try are you the doing? boulder again? That Namrock just stands there, absolutely speechless, thinking, "How did this situation get so out of hand?" <laughs> the best part is, <laughs> the best part is, Namrock's paying Bonk to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, Namrock just puts his hand on Soren's shoulder. I am um, sorry about that. Sorry about that. She was uh, she was a good lady, good lady, and uh, she'll be missed, I guess. Um, so we'll we'll be on our way. Thanks very much for the uh, for the food and for the the chicken. Um, have, have a nice day. See you, see you later, Sarah. And uh, then Namrock exits. I just love us. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> and I suppose as you guys head out, <laughs> with a chicken in tow, yeah, we've got we'll one chicken. chicken. Yeah. And is that our adventure? Should we go <laughs> rob the old man again? <laughs> you, you know what, actually. Oh, oh no, oh. we haven't taken a long rest. I've run out of rage. I was going to grow teeth and go bite that child back. <laughs> <laughs> She's lucky I've run out of rage slots. Just looking at Ash's poor little confused face on the stream. <laughs> well, I guess that brings the, the one shot to an end. Uh, as we finish, size does matter. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> what else can I say? But you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, what I would like to say is is a giant thank you to our our four players for today. Um, so a big thank you to to Namrock, uh, played by uh, by by Big Nelly. We can have a shout Thank out you. for Big Nelly, please. Thank you. A um, uh, big Shall thank you to Anestra, played by RebelStorm01. We can get a shout out hey, for uh, Rebel afterwards. No. Not no chocolate. No. no. I will fight you. Shout out, do it, I dare you. Uh, a hey. big thank you to Bonk, played by Con Kapow. That's me. Uh, and, a, and a final big thank you to uh, Dalia, played by Pingu. Yay. I think you, like, said her name differently every single time. Yeah, it was Dalila. Why did you think I, why'd there's you think only I, one why'd L? You think I, 
<laughs> Doesn't Why matter. You... It literally da li a. Why do you da think I keep saying? Oh yeah, our cleric. <laughs> <laughs> I've never once said her name for a reason. <laughs> right. Well, thank you guys for playing. Thank uh, you, Ash. Thanks for thank thanks for That was fantastic, mate. Yeah. No, that was good. probably the best D and D session I've ever had. That was really oh. good. It's definitely been an experience. Uh, I'll tell you that for sure. Um, I, I have a question. Confusion. If if we had killed the giant and kept Martha alive, would that have changed anything? Because I feel like Martha was a devious little minx. I feel like she was the real bad guy. <laughs> um, no. I guess is is the simple answer. There's nothing devious about her. Uh, was well, was there another go- enemy waiting in the wings, or? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, it really this, was just a clear cut. This, this of was just a nice simple paddy. help the local village with their with their issue. <laughs> um, we well, killed one you, and we robbed one. The more you know. <laughs> you robbed two of them. You you robbed a deaf and blind man of his only hearing aid. We did. Oh yeah, did. and then Bonk blew on it. Yeah. <laughs> Got right. earwax on his lips. Uh, thank you very much, guys. I'm going to leave you here and I'm going to go say goodbye to the rest of stream. Yeah, thank no you. worries. Cheers Bye. very much, guys. Bye. 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 Wow. Um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't expecting a lot of that that happened. Um... <laughs> I suppose that's one of the best things about D&D is, is like Subway, you have it your own way. Um, I've, I'm flabbergasted. Just when I thought they were actually going to go back and kill the entire village. Uh, absolute chaos. But yeah, guys, um, for the two streamers that played today, Rebel Storm and Big Nelly, please check them out. They are amazing streamers. Um, and thank you, thank you to everyone who who came and played today as well. Thank you to to you guys as well for coming along for Mads and Titan for the subs. You guys are amazing. And yes, um, we will come up with some sort of wheel so that um, subs can make good or bad things happen to the guys. We'll have some thoughts. Uh, if you guys want to head over into the Discord and have your say on things, uh, please feel free to. Uh, I'll put some suggestions out there for things we can put on the wheel and see what you guys want on the wheel ultimately. It's you guys that are putting the subs forward, so it's you guys that should have the final say. Uh, I'm still just self shut. Um, thank you guys for coming along. It has been really, really fun to stream D&D with you today. Uh, there will be some more streams coming up. Um, I'll probably aim for about one a month, maybe with some special one-offs. Purely just because the amount of time it takes to make the unique storylines, get the guys all together, create the characters and everything. If I can do more than one a month, I will try to. We'll try to fit in as much as we can, as well as alongside, obviously, all our normal streams as well. Um, so, you guys probably aren't surprised, but we are going to go ahead and raid Mathman. Um, so we are going to have a custom raid message for this, because why not? Um, let me just come up with something off the cuff now. Uh, we finished D&D. We didn't slaughter the village. Let's hunt posties. Um, so guys, if you, if you wouldn't mind coming along for the raid over to, to see Mathman, this will be our raid message for those uh, that have got that are subs. If you're not a sub, once we start raiding over, which I will do now. Um, why aren't you suggesting Meth Man to me? Um, if you're not a sub, there is a non-sub ra- raid message in there. Um, but if you are a sub, if you can use the the new one, we'll go over. We we'll give Math Man some love. Um, 
Check out the Discord and like I said, I'll update you guys when we're going to do the next one and uh, get your guys' ideas and thoughts. Guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I guess all I can say is I'll catch you next time. Cheers very much, guys. You are awesome. That sounds amazing. Uh, let's say some really good cars for Fasmo. Yes, indeed, because during community nights, as per usual, Dixper is going to be on, and I am looking forward to it. It's going to be great. Hey, Donnie, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well.